Welcome, my lovely dears, to another fantabulous session under the sea. Under the sea. When last we left off, the party made it to the uh, Hall of Challenge, or well, I suppose Halls of Challenge for uh, the uh, Hassans. I couldn't think of the word Hassan for a second. A uh, group of assassins that were, uh, at the very least, if not hired by, contracted long term uh, by the Eternal King and or the royal family. To actually get a meeting with the Hassan, who apparently happens to have in his ownership, if not literally like on his person, uh, one of the Arms of Light. My brain like just disconnected partway into that sentence and I lost where it began. They want to meet the Hassan. To do so, they need to go through these halls of challenge and pass as aspirants into being acolytes. That way they don't have to actually like assault an assassin chapel. They can enter fairly. I, mean, I didn't know assaulting was even an option. Hold on. What are we doing this for? I don't know. You'd have to find the actual major chapel too, I suppose. Yeah, that's... You know where this is located. That's the issue. Hmm. All you're doing is seeing in the Slutty Hassan tramp stamp. Um, I don't want that, but okay. Uh, obviously, you're going to get the um, the one that's like inside portion of the hip on the left. So that you can only be seen while you're doing that, taking off the shirt, revealing the six-pack maneuver. Ah, yes, of course. Yeah. Regardless, as the party uh, entered these little aspirant halls, they found out that they're a little bit higher level than, you know, level one aspirants. Uh, and so all of the difficulties have been turned up to a certain degree upon entering the chain, the Cave of Fortitude, or Challenge of Fortitude, they discovered that the entire challenge would be held completely underwater. It would be assaulted by sharks, and by one of the teachers slash instructors. Uh, let's see here, a blood favor. The assassin shark. That's my new beta. Yep. She made the mistake of using the phrase alpha and or beta in front of your party, and then after getting completely owned, uh, you know, didn't turn out great for her. Well, it turned out fantastic for her. She got snoot rubs and belly rubs. She'll never admit that it turned out great for her. Alas, you used up a bunch of misty steps. I suppose she could have dimension door greater visibility to way, but you made it quite clear that it would have been inevitably pointless. <laughs> it's true. She thought to threaten you, and really all it did was give you a challenge to rise to. Regardless, we return with the party still underwater. With a little dome of air being crafted, so a few of you can, you know, pause in drowning and regather yourselves. The, like, density of the water, however, now is uncomfortable. Uh, because this place is watertight, it's starting to create quite a bit of pressure. You've actually, you know, displaced quite a lot of water by creating this dome. Uh, you can't compress water. So we should probably hurry up in here and not to uh, fully around, shall we? <laughs> Is that what I'm hearing? I don't know. You're hearing what you're hearing. I don't know how much your party knows about physics, but there's an awful lot of pressure suddenly in this cave. Yeah. If we could freeze some of this water. Oh. No, wait, that doesn't actually work because water is what is water, and it doesn't mm -hmm. just compress itself when it solidifies. No, because ice is actually it does the actual more does the, does the, does the yeah. It's yeah. just gonna kind of wave you guys down this way. Come on. Where? How does Let's water see, so where did, work? Where did the shark tell us that like the things were like they're far one side and the other side or something like that? 
Uh, I believe they said that the things you need are in just like chests up here. Okay. And then at uh, the far end, and to watch out for sharks. Okay. Well, yeah. unfortunately, I can't move myself on mobile, so uh, you'll just have to move me, Scout. Sure. I'll keep keep you tagged along. Yeah. All right. All right, yeah, stop see. for a second. Wait. Pardon? Pardon, yes. Hedra, what? I was asking, were we allowed to take a short rest in uh, no. Dome? No. No. Okay. No, we had to rotate out so everybody could like take their breaths. Yeah, you can't rest while you have to keep constantly making sure that you're cycling people out to avoid the drownery. Uh, however, a prayer of healing was done, because at the very least you guys could cycle around while Hallie remained in the middle casting Aspel. Okay, I was just... No, but uh, Tristan and I could uh, be outside at least, so at that going. Yeah, I mean, we didn't take an hour, so it doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, we took like ten minutes. It was a ten minute cast, correct. Uh, see, so yeah, I'm gonna call for Jesse to come unlock this chest and check it for traps. I shall help her out. Sure. Let's well, look for traps see. first. Uh, 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 uh. This one to the left here. Yes, that's what she's is. gone up too fast. All right, no, Jesse. No, you couldn't see from the angle, so ah. just mention. Okay, she's pretty sure that this, like, corridor alone has some kind of pressing mechanism in it. Like, it's gonna start squeezing someone who goes through here. Oh. She doesn't know what triggers it exactly, though, but presumably it's part of a test of fortitude. Oh. Uh, however, when she, you know, discovers this part, she can't actually really convey that to you guys accurately. Um... Yeah, she can. She can, like, point, like, something push down. Yeah, 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 yeah. The obviously. Like, yeah, no, yeah. The... Uh, so, yes, she literally, she points at, like, each and either wall, and then makes a squeezy motion, and then a like, choky, holdy breath motion. And then she shrugs. She doesn't appear to know how it okay. operates. So what we do is we squish Cass's fat ass in there, so it can't compress at all? Well, no, we'll, we, yeah, I mean, we take our strong people and they just, like, hold the walls okay. back as much as they can while the people, like, open the chest. Yeah. I'm just checking. You want me to turn into some sort of animal that can just hold it up? I mean, sure, if you want to. Yeah, I will take all the time. Up to you, whatever you decide. Yeah, well. Go ahead, turn into a big thing. Uh, Fauna can help with her gigantic yeah. moosles. Or maybe you help Fauna. She's probably going to be stronger than whatever you turn into. How about Fauna and Jen, since both of them are incredibly strong? Sure. Yeah, that works. <laughs> She'll swim up for you. Uh, and then me and Jesse can swim through and do the chest, getting it open. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Her, your uh, wearing... Plate armor or half plate right now? Half plate. Okay, you're fine. Uh, still, I'll probably tie a rope to like whichever one of you is less athletic, uh, so I can yank you out if need be. Uh, let's see. I, think... I don't know that either of them are athletic at all. I mean, I have like an eight strength. Okay, okay. put it around Ariel, then she'll yeah. gesture it. Right. <laughs> Just isn't quite that level of noodle. Yeah. However, her mask has filled with water, and so she will frustratedly, like, actually remove the whole thing. Face. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna need an athletics from Vornra and also a constitution to hold your breath while you are doing so. You Athletic. are exerting yourself. And a constitution. Yep. Shall I do the same for Jen. Fonner's doing good. Athletics. Constitution. Oh, uh, yeah. Nice. Wow. Great. Fucking double over 20s. Okay. 
I didn't think it could get wetter in here, but it did. Yeah. (laughs) So, with no small amount of trepidation, uh, Jesse is first to cross the threshold, and almost immediately you can feel these walls begin to shift and move. They are sliding inwards. There is one downside, and that's the two of you don't have much, like, physical leverage. Uh, so it soon becomes apparent that both of you are going to have to wedge yourselves into these walls and keep them held apart. However, with those tests, you're able to do so, and you make a narrow enough channel for people to swim in underneath you. Mm. Okay. Mandatory upskirt time. Yep. I feel that's not appropriate right now, so I'll just swim through normally. Yeah, all right. Uh, let's see here. Jesse is going to pull out of Thieves' Tools. Uh, you cancel out the disadvantage for trying to, you know, perform this complicated act underwater. She's not I a mean, professional yeah. Houdini of any kind. I mean, that's Got better it. than having a she... disadvantage. So, yeah. Before she swims in. Better than nothing. 16. Okay, it is going to take her half a minute to do this. So I'm going to need another constitution save out of Fauna and Jen. That probably took you guys half a minute to get into this position and organize, so I think Jesse's down to one round of air. And Jeez. Ariel, you would be down to two. Yeah. Not rounds, sorry, minutes even. Uh, yeah, constitution saves again, Fauna and Jen. Uh oh. Alright, so you lose two rounds instead of one. Sorry, minutes and sorry, instead of one. Jen. Constitution save. Ah, oh, my baby. Alright, she only spends one. But eventually, Jesse gets the chest open with a pop. And then there is this like uncomfortable dropping noise. It appears this chest was mostly hollow. And there's a great big bubble of air that floats up, and water displaces it. Uh, let's see here. Nobody is imminently suffocating Moses. She doesn't have to like Mario stick her head in the air bubble. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Well, she might do so anyway. I don't know. I mean, yeah, she's no. got like a round left or a minute yeah. left. She's got like... a minute left, but also so is Fauna. Uh, I think her fucking around to actually get more air would potentially risk them. So That's true. she will swim ahead and instead of going to this one, is going to go back to the air bubble. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I feel like a trip back to the air bubble would be a good uh, maneuver here and get us all having our air back. I guess yeah. I'll just go loot the chest while they're running back to her. Indeed. Uh, let's see here. Alright, inside the chest you see what appears to be a, like, tied together with twine stack of coins, like, quite weighty old Electrum coins. These appear to have the Hassans, like, stamping on them, and you can see that it's this small circular skull image, and the inside of which appears to be studded with tiny little gems. Ah, Dragon Empire coinage. Nice. And basically, yeah. Well, it's just Hassan backs. They might be symbolic more than a currency and are probably worth, say, like a metal weight. But luckily, a lot of Electrum is worth metal weight because used in alchemy. Ah, yes, of course. There's a Hassan vending machine somewhere we need to feed these two. Um. All right, uh, let's see here. These. All right, and then you can filter out. Uh, let's see here. Fauna, you are going to have to slide out before Jen does because your air will run out trying to keep this open an extra turn. Mm. Although I suppose you can safely suffocate for an extra turn if you want to, because you're... You're, you're... You are constituted enough to drown for a few rounds. I prefer not. Obviously, yes. Uh, so I'm going to make yeah. instead just the strength and con at disadvantage for Jen so that you can get out fast. Oh. I mean, I can help uh, help her hold it open a bit while she's pushing, since I sure. kept bills. Uh, you give me uh, an athletics and a con, then. Sure. I mean, I don't care about the con, because I have bills right now. 
Yeah, yeah. I'll just oh. stare him. Okay, oh, no. so yeah, Fauna, the moment you leave to go get air, you immediately see, like, Tristan slide in to take the gap, and then both he and Jen sort of go, hmm? <laughs> and the wall starts to crush them. Uh, huh. assisted. Uh, you, you can't assist, you're fucking a twink. Oh no, my baby. <laughs> there is only so much room in this small corridor. And one person to swim out beneath them. Uh, let's see here. Luckily, they've still got plenty of air between them. However, the both of you are going to take a little fifteen blood, fifteen bludgeoning damage as you are big, like crushed by this wall. Uh, Ow, my temp HP. Yep. Ow, ow, ow. All right. Go, go, go. Yep, and then Jen will boop, ow. And you will do the same before this whole wall slams shut. Ow. I'll just grab Pondra because he moves uh, slower in water and I don't, and I'll assist her. Yeah, you can help her get back to the bubble in time. And then, yeah, Excellent. everyone, refresh your numbers back up to their points because presumably you'll all do a little bit of an air cycle. Yeah. I would do that, but. Yeah, 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 work yeah, on <laughs> Yes. Yeah, that's that's fine. I'm I'm gonna force you to do the same. Yep. And Jesse's gonna do like mime a sigh because she's gonna do it again. <laughs> and she will check over this. Yep. Here we go again. All right. With I'm an sorry eighteen. About your fabulous treasure, Jess. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't like drowning. Uh no, I don't think anyone really would. She doesn't know what the mechanism for this hook corridor is. With an 18, it's not high enough. Oh. It's not the same, but she doesn't know what it is. She just right. does a little water turn and shrugs at you guys. Hey, hey, okay. Uh, you can make out little pinpricks that have, like, perhaps, like, thick glass coverings on them, like ampules or something. Perhaps they'll burst open and flood this with to some kind of toxin. Oh no. Oh. We'll make a pop gesture. Ah. Uh, hold on. I think I have uh, an see. idea. Yeah. I have an idea. Okay. What do you have an idea? Why don't of? I make? Why don't I make? So why don't I just make ice? Yeah, if you want to freeze over the walls so whatever's in there gets trapped. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to request an Arcana test off of you, please, Bob. Let's see how good you oh. make this. Boy. I will assist. Yeah. I am so good at fucking Arcana. Let me tell ya. Yeah, whatever, Pip. Okay. Tell me what you got. Boss just had your luck in action. Yeah, well, come on. Come on, had your luck. Let's do it. Yeah, do it again. See? A 20. Alright, a 20 is, you hope, enough. Jesse still looks very nervous. Uh, Alright, roll me a 1d4. Oh, I'll just tell is her I have protection from poison if she needs it. Okay, that's, that's rough. Four ampules are still going to burst out of the available eight. Oh. It's only half, I mean. Yeah, better yeah. than all of them. Uh, if you have some I... kind of... Hmm? Yeah, sorry. Could I take half of those ampules that are bursting since I'm going in there to help her open the chest? That way it's less on her. I mean, it just means that the, like, the water's density is going to change and become toxic. It's just going to be less toxic than it was, so it's just an easier save for both oh, of you. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, I see. Yeah, it, is, it has made the test considerably easier because you are not, like, just being covered in a dense corrosive. Okay. So yeah, I shall slide you guys both in. Very nervous noises. Uh, and yeah, Trist, you are able to give one of them uh, resistance or protection? Yeah, I will throw it on uh, Jess, because she's uh, more vulnerable to two in this case, I think. Yeah, she's got like 20-odd 
less health than Ariel does. So I guess I'll probably throw it on her after. Oh no, resistance poison damage. Okay. It's resistance I'll, I'll to poison it. damage. Yeah, it's the damage that she's worried about, not the effect yeah. of being okay. poisoned. I will, yeah, I'll, I'll put it on her first. All right, here we go. Canceling out the disadvantage with Ariel help. The <laughs> gun, good thing oh, to do. Twenty-nine. All right. This time she's able to get it open like 15, 20 seconds. It's a, it appears to be quite a similar mechanism on this occasion. Uh, and now I need a, a constitution saving throw from her and Ariel. Oof. All right, Jesse is going to fail. Ariel, you rolled twice, but a 21 is fine. Yeah, you are I not going to fail. Did the first time I clicked on the she I didn't hear a beep that rolled. Don't do a beep on mobile. Thirteen is not enough. It's something or nothing is nothing. <laughs> All right, she takes half off. Thankfully, with resistance, thirty-five poison damage. Uh, do I take half as well, or no poison damage on the save? Uh, let's see here. Uh, this is a save for half. Okay. Uh, both, take half. both of you take half of 35. Half 35 is what, 18? 17, 17. round down. Right, well, I mean, I was good to ask. Then yeah, you feel it, it's like getting into your, like, eyes, and it's burning at the inside of your nose, even though you're obviously not breathing in, because it's just lots of small veins, capillaries, etc. It is deeply unpleasant and corrosive, and I'm going to require constitution saves to Keep yourself from losing any extra breath as you are burned out by it. Okay. I will roll again here in just a second after I do this to Fuck. do math. <laughs> so, okay. 17. Wait, no. Hold on. It was 17. Oh, God. Character sheet. Work with me. Okay. Uh, mobile. And you said Constitution? Yep. Okay. Oh. Oof. Sorry, Trist already used it. Uh, Stray. Trist had it as well. Oh, uh, okay, so uh, both of you, both you and Jesse, lose your two minutes of air and begin drowning. Well, but I, mean, I Jessie... had two minutes when I. Oh, you had three. Refresh. All right, then, then you cut off an extra one. Yes, yeah, so I'm down to one minute then. All right. Jesse is at zero minutes and begins to drown, although she does manage to throw out another one of those coin stacks before she starts struggling. All right, I yeah. just run and grab her pole. Yeah. Take her back Start to the swimming. air bubble. Swim, swim, swim. Sure, swim. Uh, you can get her there in under 30 minutes, but after that, she's just going to go sort of limp in this air pool. Yeah. It just indicates a ton. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> Take fall on her side and that. vomit a bit and look very wet and miserable. But yeah, so you now have two of these heavy stacks of coin. Alright. May watch over. We'll be back. Let's see here. And then Ariel can do the old air shuffle. By this point, it takes you quite a while to get to this end of the corridor as I bring you guys around. So whatever your maximum air allowance is, cut off a minute. So I'm down to max two then. Mm -hmm. Not great, but not bad. And as you're watching in this corridor, you all see... A gigantic stone shark. And it's, it looks like it's coming threateningly towards you. It keeps on going in this circle. And then soon you see the second shark, slightly differently painted, also doing this same route. I see. You're about to get Donkey Kong country all right, as soon as this shark goes around the corner, we just follow it in. Yep. All right. Uh, what kind of test would you like to do for getting through here quickly without, you know, burning up all your oxygen? Uh, 
I don't care. I have infinite oxygen. Underwater <laughs> acrobatics. Um. Can I see uh, moving the slower people? Yeah, I'll, I'll grab one of the... Probably grab Hallie. Drag her along with me. Sure thing. Tracy's going to grab my boom. Adventure. Sure. Okay. So let's see here. I think acrobatics, athletics, or just rolling con and just enduring through it. And this each of us needs to make the sword test. Yep. Each of you can do okay. so. Hallie, you have advantage. I'm going to acrobatics. shift so that I have advantage on athletics. I don't know why I clicked animal handling there, but it's 13 acrobatics. Okay. You're 15, uh, if you've got help from Bob. Uh, athletics, you say? Athletics, athletics or, or acrobatics. acrobatics or constitution, if you want to just raw dog through it. No, very athletic, oh, mate. Power move. Yeah. Move. Move. Halle strong. Excellent. You can say that you're a sea and, cow. Uh, as this sort of goes through, I'll begin filtering uh, you guys. They are buoyant by farts. Uh, at this point, uh, unfortunately, Cassie has to wait. She can't fit in behind you guys as the next shark comes around. Uh, but she's in less of a rush. Let's see here. Jen still needs to make the test. So she's a four. Uh, I think she's just going to athletics herself. Ugh. All right. So Jen will lose one thing a bit, but luckily she's got some to spare. I think everyone else makes it through just fine. So as that goes up there, and the shark moves to here. You're able to reach this point and dive out into the next corridor. Hello, nurse. There is, up ahead of you, a very, very large statue. They appear to be holding a weighted scale in one hand, and the other holds tightly onto a flask made of pure silver. Oh, well, this is pretty simple. It seems we just put the coins on the other side to weigh the other side of it down for the scales. But does she have a giant horse penis scale? Uh... It's usually like young aspirants come through here, so no. <laughs> <laughs> no, they do not, in fact, wave a gigantic horse penis statue at like fucking 14, 16 year olds. Hey, they kill people, they don't expose themselves to minors. There's okay. professional. Yeah, yeah, these guys are lawful evil, not chaotic evil. <laughs> of course. My mistake. But yes, let's see here. Uh, as you approach the statue, you can see most threateningly upon them, written and scribed across their stone dress, is maths. Oh, no! Not maths. Oh, no! Oh, no. no. You have to spend time figuring out how many coins you need. Alright. Uh, Bob, assist me. Yep. Yeah. I guess this is just a raw intelligence test. Um, unless you have a, a tool specialization for mathematics. Uh, oh, um, navigators tools and smiths tools. Would would statecraft count? Like, do yeah, statecraft counts. Uh, my, uh, yeah. State statecraft, is, statecraft is literally accountancy. Much well, guess who that? has statecraft? Uh, let me open it up and get to it. It would still be intelligence based in this case. You're right. Still be intelligence based. Uh, let's see. So, what's so proficiency plus three. three, and my int is so only three in that case. Okay, so still better if I do it, but I'll get assistance from you. Yeah, yeah. You're I can you, uh, like uh, Tristan, Bob can try and figure it out, and like Fauna, you can sorry that area. You can try and figure it out separately if you'd like. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Else say this, this is luckily just like a list of maths. Like, there's no too many cooks in this situation. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Fucking well, good thing too. <laughs> well, I mean, I got so a ten. One d twenty plus three. 
because my thing was sent to Christmas, I don't want to try and fix that on mobile. One, two, Fucking Tristan Bob obviously forgot to carry the one. <laughs> okay, so... so uh, Hallie, while these three, like, struggle at basic mathematics, you begin drowning. I probably begin drowning as well. <laughs> Down to, like, two minutes now or whatever. You are... Probably well, it, it burns a minute. Hallie, your minute is up. Burns a minute. Burns a minute. Hallie, you need to get back before you die. Bob Taker, go. Yep. I turn it I turn it to squiggly so that I can actually move hyper speed in water. Yeah, okay. Um you can do double assisted moves. Well. Uh, yeah. Con save for Hallie as she is dragged, just to make sure she doesn't gulp down extra water. Okay. Oh, you're fine. Obviously, you've you've had to hold your breath in emergency drowning situations before. <laughs> emergency drowning. This is calm. This is nothing new. Let's see, you guys, I'll move over to here. Um, yep. All right. Barrett's gonna sidle over as well. Uh, you get one more test. Ariel, you could choose to run away instead of risk having to do the drowning run back as well. Yeah, you should You should just go. Yeah, I think I'm going to start swimming as like my face starts like getting a little bit less color than normal. Or a little bit more color, if not the right color. Sure. All right. Give me an athletics. Okay. Athletics. I'm not great at that. But okay. So I might need to start swimming back with me in case I, I think Bob will probably be able well. to catch you like halfway back and save you so that's okay let's see. but it's just oh, whether yeah awesome. I was gonna say like Bob yeah Bob hauls ass underwater but let's see if you actually need Bob's help for pride's sake uh let's see here I think it rolled I hope it rolled yeah okay no you need Bob's help I'm afraid pride doesn't get you to this bubble in one piece and you are drowning before Bob finds you yeah, all right I know I told you I'm not great at athletic, that's why I said like, oh, this one's gonna yeah. be swim with me. Yeah, above you're like swimming yeah. back to go help your friends, then you catch Ariel like pa just past the shark statues clutching her throat. <laughs> yes. Listen, listen, the test of fortitude and whatnot is not great for me. I didn't expect like, my the basic test. maths that's meant to just slow you down to be something you can't pass the DC ten off. <laughs> Wait, I did pass a DC ten. I got a ten. Oh, you got a 10? Yeah, with oh, guidance okay. and assistance. All right, fine. So it just takes a while. So their drowning would start happening anyway, but at the very least, you don't have to make a test again. Not a 10. I could probably have <laughs> just done that. And... Yeah, it's literally like, it, well, obviously the DC gets better for um, like how long it takes you. A 10 is you at least succeed. <laughs> so yeah, Fauna, even you, like you at least succeed at this test. <laughs> How many skulls do I need to rip off before I can get my bone? Ah, Fauna and Jen figure out way better than either of you fucking losers. <laughs> I bet they just at one point get, up, get frustrated and the of it. they just both elbow you, been there. <laughs> you guys aside and just fucking put the stack of coins up. <laughs> plink, plink, tink. Her hand releases the flask and the four of you can get back. You all dropped down to a minute, but a minute is fine. A minute is enough time. Yeah, I mean, it's plenty of time. All right, we have the flask. Congratulations. Yeah. Now what does the flask fucking do? It's part of the ritual thing up above. Is yep. it? Yeah, this yes. is, uh, you need the three pieces to perform this, this tattooing on yourselves as aspirants to acolytes. You need the ink, the needle, and the dish. Uh, this would appear to be a flask containing ink. So I shouldn't open this underwater here like a squid. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Nice Do not shot. open it underwater. You could. I ink. It'd be funny. It'd be a bad idea. David. Tristan will probably mime, like, getting ready to do that, just he's getting back to the bubble. Just saying out loud. 
No, I wonder what's in this flask after all. Start j- dicking with the top. Yeah, all right. But your party is able to cycle out and make it. And then you can leave as the uh, pressure in this room starts to uh, alleviate itself. And you can see like almost a shimmering wall here waiting at this exit way for you to just swim or walk through. Which of you can do so. Hooray! I guess we're gonna... No more drowning. As you exit bedraggled and soaked, you're able to flop and flip a flapper over to the next point after, I suppose you want to leave a flask behind over here at this little tattooing point. Man, it's gonna take forever to get all that water out of my ears. I have such big ears to get water out of. God, no kidding. You're, each of you is given at least a, a... Well, she goes in for a hug, but you're soaked. But Tammy is just like, oh god, that looks so scary, guys. Yeah. I was watching uh, through a window the whole time. It. Why were you... I thought you'd fight the shark. Why would I fight a giant shark when I could instead give her nose rubs and rub her tummy? Mm. She was pretty. It seemed to. She was pretty out. and also extremely vulnerable to tummy rubs. Uh, and that's, I, guess I, if, I did not know that that was a weakness that they had. See, if, if that's one anyway. lesson I can pass on to you. It's there's always an alternative to fighting. Sometimes it's incredibly embarrassing uh, tummy rubs on your enemy till they capitulate. I knew about it. I read it in a pop-up book. Yes, that's what I read it in. I'm sure. She may be on the cusp of adulthood, but she is still a bard, and Tammy will nod sagely. <laughs> that and that name the person who isn't like 17 and hasn't at least looked in a porno. Come on. Especially these days. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. They just got to pretend they're not there. Yeah. As you flip a flapper over to the reflexes entrance, you can see the same painting and then like running into frame is the exact same person you've previously seen at the one over there. <laughs> Oh, goodness, you're looking, uh, moist. How did it go? Outstanding. Well, we're not dead, so... Successfully. Excellent. You didn't ask, open friend. the flask underwater, did you? No, and when I threatened to do it, nobody thought it was funny, so... Uh, hmm. No, that has happened before, thing. admittedly, so I always have to check, otherwise it gets, frankly, incredibly frustrating, so now I have to go and source more ink. Knowing ahead of time is appreciated. Oh shit, I just remembered something. Hmm? Uh, Bob in a squid for back that uh, shifty back, we'll just make him how he was. So we'll be coughing up fucking water. Yep. Oh, <sighs> I suppose, yes, similarly, trust your, your gills. <laughs> uh, don't work so well <gasps> anymore. Yeah, they don't work so well. Two of you just like both both bend over, lean against a pillar, one hand, one finger up, heave. <laughs> okay. Who valida? Okay. And let's get this. Oh, yes. That's the good. test of reflexes. I suspect you'll enjoy this one. <laughs> Do you? Do you really? Yes. Dexterity and instinct all put to a test. Oh, fuck. Well, that's better than my own strength, I suppose. Some of you don't look so confident. Is it because you're wearing all that metal? I want to go to the will save room. Uh, I suppose then again, I'm used to seeing aspirins with robes on. All right, one second, calibrating. Oh, no. 
So any advice that we can pass on to our uh, uh, instructor in the test of fortitude? I don't uh, exactly have some kind of, you know, query check markable series of boxes, but we can always take such advice to heart. More yeah, belly probably. rubs. Yeah, she probably shouldn't yell out that she's going to make a bunch of kids into betas. She doesn't do that with children. Our okay, yeah, I well, think that was just still. <laughs> uh, that was well, fun. keep in mind that her conduct... Oh, this is another conduct mark for her. I think she must have, must have scared aspirants back in the past. Somehow I'm not surprised. Very intimidating. Sharks I'm tend sure. to do that. Yes. No, she, she just likes snow about this Conduct mismark again. Do you have a three strike rule? I can't confirm how we manage our instructors behind the scenes, honestly. Oh, well, hopefully this instructor will be a lot kinder to you, or I suppose less disagreeable. Oh no, she was very agreeable. Oh well, yes, very agreeable. While the oh. rest of us were dying to sharks. Oh no, is that going to be a collusion miss mark as well? No, no. No. She, she behaved admirably, but uh, she could not maintain her composure and stand against us when I started rubbing her tummy and squeezing her snout and calling her a good girl. This marking. You see him actually now pull out a piece of paper. He did say he didn't have a query with check marks, but he absolutely pulls up like what appears to be some kind of clipboard. We're going to have to make quote. up and we're gonna have to make up a new category. Uh, it literally is just like you'd see them writing something and then they double underline and sign and put it away again. <laughs> are we cool narking on conduct. Are we narking on the shark? How dare you? Yeah, you're absolutely knocked on her. She's going to get in trouble now. Oops. So many demerits. <laughs> Way to go, Tattletail. Well, she should have been less fuck you and more like, ooh, ooh. Don't say that anywhere near my house. <laughs> or at least warn me beforehand. Finishes tutting. Oh, uh, you can leave the flask just on the ledge there if you don't want to take it in with you. Just gestures off to the side. We don't um, want it to accidentally break yeah, or something. Isn't there like a ritual pillar or something like that where all the stuff is supposed to go for this? Uh, yeah. Yes, right. And well, it would be behind slash in front of the door. He just gestures at the far end. Damn it, catch. Yeah. Let's just, hmm? No, oh. don't throw it. Let's just set it up <laughs> there. I'll just give Damn it to Tammy. Yeah. God, I can catch. You guys are such babies. Yeah. You were the one drowning to get it. I don't want it to break and us have to go through it again. <laughs> Trist will just remind her the last time he told her to catch and then beamed her on the head. Well, yeah, but you literally held that at my face. Yeah, I told you to catch. Mm. So you say it would really inconvenience them if this were all spelled. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> yeah, you can go Shoot. fight the Hassan... Grandmaster yourself, if you want, kiddo. Well, maybe I will. And she was going to walk up to this pillar and places the flask down and then stares at a door that only she and, uh, let's see here. Bob. She and Bob. Bob can see, yeah. Uh... She and Bob just link hands and go off for wonderful assassin adventures and leave the rest of us behind. Start their own spin off series. I'm strongly <laughs> considering going in there, but. I'll behave this time. I'm the least afraid of being assassinated. Yeah, whatever's in there is still loyal and sane. Mm. Sure, they might be crazy. Yeah. You hear a scoff from the painting. The Hassan would never lose their sanity. It'd be so ridiculous. Yeah. It's only been, what, a few hundred years of isolation or something? Nonsense. Yeah. Well, the last anyway. one was the same. Last instructor was saying right, so. Before we go in there, we should probably uh, take a minute to catch our breath, by which I mean fucking heal yourself, Scrubs. Yeah. You need a short yeah. rest. Yes. Which I'm full in favor of. Yeah, that gives me time to, you know, on the water people here. 
about water. Okay, oh, uh, yeah. Do you water if I? Yeah, I, because imagine trying to do anything express with all your clothes and leather soaked. Yeah, I will. I will also join Team Dry Off with Presty. That's supposed to be a D eight by this level, isn't it, for Song of Rest to die? Uh, yeah. I think it changed it like fifth or sixth. Oh yeah. Let's see. Enjoy an extra five. Okay, that puts me at max. Hit dice. Mm -hmm. Sixty-six. Five. All right, one more. Oh, now she finally rolls a good one. Jeez, totally wasted the last hit die for Jen. Oh well. Oh. She's got one left. Wait, did we have any of those Hassan coins left over? Uh, yeah, you have four of them. Sweet. Oh, good. Oh For whatever God. vending machine or little gift shop there might be afterwards. So I'm going to press that is perfectly for health. Uh, let's see here. Cassie, you're hurting. Let's see. God damn it, Discord. Come on, install your updates quicker. Barrett, you took a little bit of a hosing. Let's have a look at ya. Fair, it's a hoser. Oh, who is there? Yeah, right. Yeah. I now remember the effect that the previous totem was still on the people, so they had advantage on strength checks. Ah, uh, whatever. Mm. That's fine. Dig, dig. One more time. Yeah, Let's try to have a wand of wonder. You dare. Hooray! Oh, no. You should use it. Oh, no. we have? Why not? Sorry, Wand I had to wonder. talk to somebody real quick. Oh, Wand of Wonder. Great. Well, I think Tristu's wonderful. I do, too. You should cast it at Tyana and see if she gets any spells. It's true. She could get <laughs> um, Fireball, uh, Darkness. She gets Gem Shot. Okay. Lightning, lightning bolt, bolt. Yep. stinking cloud, gust of wind, fairy fire, or slow. In large reduce. Uh That only casts on yourself. Oh no, no that no. does target, target someone else. If you have a target selected when you die. Oh my god, tiny fat cat. <laughs> or huge fat cat. <laughs> right, yes. Enlarge yourself on yourself is a different result. Yeah, or gem shot if she's in a, in the middle middle of a gem shot. Uh... One d four times times ten gems. They take you know one bludgeoning for each gem. That's potentially total damage 40, forty gems in a line though. That's pretty great. It is. Mm -hmm. Wait, how much of those? Worth, one GP each. Over. One GP each. So nothing, but it's funny as fuck. Well, don't say nothing. One GP each in this Wait. fucking setting. It's not yeah, a, one GP each is pretty fun. good. I mean, yeah. no, this game Two just doesn't use gem. a. This game uses the gold standard still for like actual buying things. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, this it would be at most event. forty GP, which is not enough to buy a healing potion. I mean, there.
Ride or die, loser. All right, I think we're ready. Okay, well, good luck. It, oh, hmm. You aren't yeah. all going to fit in this test at once. Uh, so what, we need to do it in groups or what? Uh, let's count off a bunch of you. Uh, how about you six? He will gesture at the core party. Okay. Ah. Okay. Have fun. Okay. Indians. I can see the faintest thing of something right here. I don't yeah, know what it is. Rug. Yeah. I see like a little red rug. rug. Oh, yeah. Also, this oh, no. is far too bright. Let's do that. It's the fucking. Uh... Got them, Robin. There you go. Yeah. Go ahead. You have freedom to move around. Okay. I should have prepared enhance so. ability today. So what? What is I that I see up here? Is that like a little pin or a ball or something? That appears to be a red orb. Perhaps solid okay. iron. Okay. <laughs> Let me just move over. Okay, there's here. a blue orb oh. over there. Oh. And you can see as you turn around to this corner that there are four oh. sleeping uh, elven figures uh, dressed in assassin's garb, black leather and metal buckles, and they each have like rather wicked looking knives on their belts. I see more orbs as well. Yep, and you can see red, blue, green, green, blue, red orbs. Mm -hmm. And here is a barred gate through which you can see down into a corridor that appears to have small accesses into it. Okay. Uh, let me go to these other rooms. I want to check something mm -hmm. real quick. What sort of bar barring is on the gate and what do they look like? Uh, they appear to be a bars of solid metal. Uh, you'd probably struggle to squeeze a fist through. However, what we could squeeze is a hand to lift them up, because, you know, the original use of the strength attribute is Ben Barr's lift gates. So, honor. Yeah, you could certainly muscle your way through those barbed gates. Uh, I kind of want to see what happens if we pick up the orb over here first, because that might be the more intended method. Mm, hold on. If you pick up that orb, there's three of the same color in here. Let's... Two of the same color. Mm. Well, sorry, yes, there's two more of the same color for three in total. Yes. If you're going to pick up an orb of one color, maybe we should try and pick up all three at the same time. Yes, maybe it's a puzzle of mixing the orbs back and forth between them to get three out or something. Yeah, let's Let's try. Someone who's okay. a little bit more on the ball with their reflexes than me. Uh, Dayana? All right. Do you want me to try in there first or this one first? Well, uh, Fauner, why don't you take the third orb? Sure. You're going to try and do it at the exact same time? Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, very cunning. But it is, is it as cunning as a fox who graduated from a uh, university. Yeah. You get the one in there, Ariel. Okay. Yeah. All right, Fauna, you're going to have to be careful to sidle past this uh, elf unless you aren't afraid of brushing up against them, I suppose. I don't see why we would be. He might awake them and they might attack you. Oh, well. Yeah, so take it a little bit chill. Just... Yeah, Fauna, if you would like to give me either uh, an acrobatics or... Stealth? Stealth. Oh, uh, yeah. Acrobatics, Please, stealth, or perception to get past without uh, brushing up against stealth. Yeah, perception uh, applies. Per 
Perception. That's just to get past the elves, right? Yep. Yes. I don't ha necessarily have a need to get past the elves. Ariel yep. went up this way, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. She's so far. Yeah, yeah, it's I just Bonner uh, who's making this check. Yeah, I went to the first room where we had that first ball. If I position myself I... right here, if uh, that means... Wait, and where'd Bonner go? Bonner is right okay. there. Okay, yeah. there we go. The third this ball. is probably yeah. the perfect position in case spikes come down and start raining on people. Okay. I'm, I'm sure I was so trying yeah, to think Fauna, of how he, uh, What are you going to roll to get past over the last red orb? Well, perception is my highest. However, while shifted, I have advantage on stealth. or No, wait, I have advantage on acrobatics while shifted. This so, is true. I think I'm going to go with the acrobatics. Okie doke. Going to jump. Gonna gonna definitely be, yump. Gonna try to be light on my feet. Oh, thank goodness. I, uh, All right, yeah. 15, well, it's 15. Not the worst. Yep, you can get to the red orb without brushing up against either of the elves. Oh, I'm on the fucking red orb over here. Yeah, yeah, that was the whole goal. Oh, God. To get all three red orbs at once. All right, who's going to tie? Who's, who's going who's gonna to count this group in? I guess I will, since I can. I'm all the way back here and I can see everybody. Sure. Okay. All that right. Sounds good. Listen, when I count to three, when I say three, pick them up. Not afterwards, not right before. As soon as the word three comes out, you pick the fucking on things three, up. On three, yes. Yeah. So okay. on three, not on three, go. Correct. Right. All right. I'm really glad that you did that because I was absolutely going to be oh, yeah. incredibly mean and <laughs> say, all right, so on which number do you actually <laughs> <laughs> Darn it. Alright. <laughs> I, I see you, Scout. Yeah. Alright, everybody. Yeah, One. I would have made sure it was clear. If... Two. Three. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. There is perfect stillness. And each of the orbs in your hands crumbles away into a palm full of dust that you can carefully keep okay. held. Right. Okay. I will keep a hold of it, and I will slowly make my way out of the room. That was underwhelming. Same. Is there... You, you actually literally figured that out completely correctly. Well done. Huh. However, a... you are now carefully cupping palmfuls of dust that you can't spill. Okay. I will oh, no. take out a potion Is... bottle. There you go. Is there a place on the gate that it wants the dust or something? Maybe. I'm looking at you the gate. You can see that there. this appears to be a uh, gate. It's got like two hard posts that have been uh, like mounted hard into the ground. Uh, and let's see here. Bob, with that perception, you, you can see evidence that these posts have been like lifted out of the ground before. Like, this is obviously not the first time these gates have been, like, hard lifted up or dropped back into place. Uh, don't know if that'll be useful evidence for you, uh, or a use of the red dust, but... Interesting. You said you could barely get a fist, like, hand weight-wise, or, like... Yeah, Not so, like, that. like if you were to look at these, these two bars as circles, you wouldn't be able to fit your fit your fist, like, through the middle of the bars. They're quite close together. I just obviously don't want to do, like, dot, 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 dynamic lighting, because that's fucking stupid. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, so is there, like, a like, barring of the gate, like, somewhere, like, over here that's, like, keeping it down, or? Uh, it doesn't appear to be. I try to open the gate. Uh, the gate rattles, but does not open. What's, what's keeping oh. it shut? Is there a lock? 
it appears that there is just like a simple lifter latch just on the other side. Who has mage hand? Uh, Let's see. Wait, no, you can fit like your hand through the bars and let that no, out. No, I literally said you no. can't get your hand through. Well, oh, you said your okay. fist. Just, we just... That's true. Not a fist. You could try and flat hand it through. Yeah, yeah. Just, yes. Just hold up a hand. Hold... Oh, Tiana has mage hand. mage hand. There you go. Let's yes. Cast okay. that shit. Mm. I never use it, but I have it. <laughs> Wait, no, she has dust in her hand. She can't cast it. She has to do like some magic components for it. Yeah, it's true. I, I could. I assume we're so I mean, getting into, into. I have potion bottles. Why don't we just put the dust in there? Yeah, that's what I was. I was. That's what I thought you were doing. Yeah. Yeah. I also thought that's what we were doing. So yeah, I I have uh, a whole Chris, would you like would kit. you like to give would you like to give me an alchemist kit but querying dexterity just to very very carefully not drop a bit of dust? Uh, wait, wait, sure. don't actually have to do any, guys. Listen, you don't actually have to do anything of that. Check this out. Where you're gonna become an octopus and just squeeze your way through? Yeah. How many wild shapes have you done since? It resets on a short press. I got okay. two. Okay. I think we should probably do the alchemist just... thing anyway, unless there's like a place with this right through this gate. Well, we'll see. Latch. All right. You turn yourself into an octopus and go for the latch. Uh, give me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so you deadly. Uh, in fact, on, let's okay. see here. Uh, yeah. All right. I'm actually going to need. If I hit this button, a line starting at Mayrog and going all the way down to Fornra. Hmm. What? Oh. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Dexterity or wisdom save. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trained in wisdom, so I guess I'll do sixteen, which I pass. Hooray! Uh, you pass. You take no damage. Oh. Uh, oh wait, I'm right. not in the line. No, no, you're not in the line. It's mirror. Which is a good thing. It might oh, made me yeah, drop my me... dust. Yeah, that's a good thing yeah. indeed. Uh... Yes. Yeah, Dex or Wisdom save. You know, those things the barbarians are awesome at. Uh, and it's really so so damage that think barbarians are super wisdom. resistant. I don't suppose Mirog could, like, just face tank a bunch of that damage to give advantage to people. No. It would just pass through her. Fair enough. Uh, yep. Is it a trash? Yes. yes. Well, no, it's not. Yeah. It's, uh, it is actually, it does not trigger trap sense. It doesn't do danger sense. No. Oh. oh fuck me. Sure this is not fine. in fact, but however yeah. that might be telling, this was not a trigger against danger sense. It was not a trap. There's someone in here. Someone's in here with us that we can't see. Yep. Yeah. Someone yeah, telling you not to it. cheat. I mean okay, that doesn't seem like well... it's cheating. That seems like the most obvious solution to go for. Yes, is turning into a squid is the most obvious solution. <laughs> Well, no, I meant the like passing like at least like an open hand thing to get the latch. It's not what we did though. We tried to put a squid through there. You tried to put a squid tentacle to open up the latch, which is basically the hand thing, but with more dexterity. While you muddle that through, I'm going to quickly grab something to nibble on because I'm so fucking hungry. Okay. Uh, and Come on, Kina. Inspiration. Come on, Kina. Roll it. I'm sure you have massive wisdom for being a zealot. That's what I'm saying. So no one. Oh, no. You need, you need inspiration. Oh, uh, I was asking for. Does anyone asking for inspiration yet? Yeah, I'll give you mine. Oh. Okay. Cool. I oh, definitely that was, needed that. That was that was oh, helpful. Good. I was very helpful. Not confident in a thirteen. No, uh, thirteen would have failed. Yeah, would have failed. It's a uh, DC sixteen. <sighs> Okay. That was literally just okay. Can't pick a hand, but uh, octopus beak is about what? 
half an inch about at, at widest. We just literally squeeze through the entire day. Yes, until that happened. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, you're actually trying to squeeze through like the entirety of the bars as you have an octopus? I thought you were just putting a tentacle through to do the latch. Yeah, I can do that as well, but no, it's like. Okay, some asshole race going on. What the fuck? Okay, before that happens again, let's put this dust into potion vials just in case. Uh, yeah. So I will make a um. Is alchemist with tools advantage because that will help me? I mean, I have alchemist yeah, tools. I can. Too. I would help you, but I'm holding stuff. My Do you want the, me to? I think. Do you want me to unship and help and guide you? Uh, yes. What's your okay. dex What's your mod for it with the dexterity? So. Because I have six. Mine would be five. But also, your hands are full. This is true. But if you're holding out there first with the funnel, and I'm the one trying to pour it in carefully. I guess we'll have to ask Scow. Yeah, yeah. No. Because Alchemist Supplies is one of the weird things I'm actually trained in. Yeah, I mean, I'm fantastic at it, Wait. except Dex Wall. Yeah. Wait, let me check something. Cooking tools. I also have cooking tools as well. Yeah, it's, it's that's the thing. I, I mean, just don't yeah, Bob, but your deck's is shut. Yeah, no, 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 no. You can just put it in a fucking pot and it don't. I got some pants. You can just put it there for safekeeping. I and mean, I guess that's true. Instead of a potion bottle, we could just use your pots and pans. Yeah. I got lids and stuff on that. Yeah, that's true. That is a really good idea. And plus, we don't know if we actually need to keep it separate or anything, though. No. Well, Bob has yeah, multiple I, I pans. Multiple. Sorry about that. All right. Yeah. So, Scow. Mm hmm. Instead of trying to get this shit into potion vials, we realized we have a cooking set with pots and pans. We have two cooking sets. We will just put oh. them in skillets. <laughs> Put the lids on. Sounds them. good. Sounds good to me. <laughs> that is yeah, a way. Do that small... I, I was looking. Yeah, I was going to say like you. You obviously have way better contrivances for carrying stuff around than potion bottles. <laughs> uh, the, uh, mm, yeah, it might not actually. Go to, it might be in a cart. That doesn't exactly make sense to take into a uh, temple. Yeah, we 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 put them into. Much larger containers that are not so difficult to get shit in and out of. There you go. Very smart. <sighs> or I okay. should say, I guess less yeah. dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's because this holding this was making me anxious. Sure. Well, yeah. as you save, do yeah. you, if you save, you do not take damage at all. It is a save versus all. Yeah. Hooray. So nobody took damage. Cool. Okay. Except Bob. Yeah, I guess. looks. Uh yeah, Bob Bob to post took damage. But that doesn't uh, matter. Bob, you weren't you weren't carrying anything, were you? No. No. Okay. Yeah, and then there is peace and quiet once more. So is that someone telling us that maybe I should use Mage Hand? Yeah, let's try that next. Uh and let me move out of this line first yeah. before you do right. Everyone that again. get out of a line. Give me your phone. Bro. There you go. There we go. Okay, so. My channel has a 30 foot range, so you don't need to be right yeah. next to it. Yeah, that's it. Right. I feel. I'm, I'm fine being here. If I'm here. Yeah, if you would like to uh, do a dexterity or an arcana test. Uh, yeah, I'll do Arcana. Okay. 
Can I assist? Sure. Okay. Eight. Thank you for the assist. One. Okay. So, the, the latch is quite heavy. It doesn't catch you off guard, thanks to a little bit of warning on Tristan's part. And you can see the latch lift up, but the gate does not open. Hmm. Once the latch is off, I'm going to try lifting this post, the post it was attached to. Seems this. remarkably easy. Okay. Once the post is out of the way, the rest of the gate should just kind of open up on its own. Yep, you can just like walk forward and walk the gate into the wall. Hell yeah. All right. Good job, team. Hooray. Hey. More treasure chests. Oh boy. Uh, and the lack of Jesse. That would leave me then. All right, let me take point on checking for traps. Yeah, I'm gonna add help. Twenty a bunch. Twenty-seven. Let's see here. They look like normal chests. Are they locked? Um, it's hard to tell from where you're stood. Okay, well, with uh, I've got latches but no locks. Okay, I will open this chest. Excellent. Yay, mimic! <laughs> Your mimic, mimic! Hooray! Congrats, good job, friend. I really, really, really wanted the first person to walk up to it be Tiana. I mean, she's not the other one. Yeah, she's gone up to the other one. Outstanding. Is it a mimic? Nope. I double click twice. I need to change that to eight. Oops. It all but explodes outwards at you. God damn it, Tris. That's okay. You got a mimic too. Yeah. I didn't touch it, though. You were so unprepared Vorpal for it. Vorpal Mimic! So it. <laughs> oh my god, you're oh both no. unprepared. Chris. What is this? Katsun? Katsun? Yes. Hello. You're already used. Nice. Okay. I don't think you have to occupy that space. You're just like, your hand is stuck to it and it explodes outwards. Yeah. Okay. I'm uh, not trapped in here with you, man. You're trapped in here with me. <laughs> Friend. For the first time ever, you hear Tiana speak mimic, and it's that. <laughs> oh fuck! What? God, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. It, we. She says, "Friend." Over here, that. <laughs> not like that typical mimic type thing. Yeah, the Dark Souls mimic giggly noise. <laughs> Roll persuasion or something. Yeah. Roll to flirt with the mimic. Not flirt, but. Did I stutter? Hmm. When you try and interact with it, you can tell it's frustrated and hungry. Ah, uh, not surprising. Probably been a I will toss it a snack of five gold. Um. Hmm. It recognizes you've given it food, but I don't know that it recognizes you as you as the friend for providing it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh no! It's mm. too stupid. It is too stupid. Yeah, this thing is in five. Well, yeah. Guess I'll have to use my wand of wonder. It's more than it. some pets, but mm. yeah. Oh, don't talk yourself down like that. <laughs> All right, squab, your turn.
Oh, that's actually me. Holy shit, I'm first. Yeah, you, the you, you're shit. the first one up. That's why I said you go. Come on. <laughs> well, I'm genuinely fucking surprised. I was not prepared for that. Okay, um... Bells, Pepsi. Great bonfire on the mimic. Be like, no, bad mimic, let go. There's nowhere it can move. It can't escape. Yeah. Yep. That is true. So we'll take five damage, sure. Can I say my, whatever, my fucking language of the birds? I'll speak there and just... No, I don't, know if, I don't know if they can fucking understand me or not, but they just said, no, bad, let's go. Owner, you're up. Uh, I am trying to make friends with this mimic, and Tristan's hand is stuck in the other one. Would I, Tristan? Would you mind if I parted your hand from your arm to free you? Uh, yes. I will come up behind them, and I will stab at the mimic. Let go. I do not know how to spear, apparently. Well, at least it wasn't in that one. So that wasn't reckless, then? No. I was not reckless. Okay. Against... You don't try and recklessly stab your friend free from something. True. Yeah, that'd be pretty True. bad. I don't know. Like Mechanically speaking, it actually is more advantageous because you're less likely to not one and stab me. Yeah, true. I mean, that's true. I got good news for Weird you. Weird how that works. Got good news for you, Tristan. I'm gonna I'm gonna hex the uh, the mimic here. Uh, I think we're gonna use strength as the ability that we're gonna hex here. You know, for yeah, yeah. making it uh, make it a little bit harder for it to ability check to that. Makes and, sense. And uh, since I can't be in, since I can't be in close with it, uh, time for blap blap with the uh, eldritch blast. Where are you at, eldritch blast? <sighs> There you can do you not see you got a cheeky whisper? Who? Oh, me? Mm-hmm. Well, I think a 23 hits. Yeah, 23 hits. All right. Take a damage. All right. This one's going to make a disadvantaged attack against Tiana. All right. Cool. 15. That just meets. Right, Hallie, you're up. And bless, 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 bless. Bless it is good and useful for bless having to make it. a lot of checks. I mean... Well, it's hack. Checks. Yeah. Yeah, saves. I'm gonna leave that. Uh -oh. I'll make room for the barbarian. All right. Yeah, well, I'm. Yeah, I'm still just trying to talk this this mimic down. I'm trying. Sure. Give me another persuade. Not to hurt it. Yeah, yeah. Just going. Shh, 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 shh. It's all right. Mm. It's alright, baby. It's alright. Shush, shush, shush. Alright, it's got pseudopods still flailing around, but its mouth hangs wide and open. Although it does not look exactly like it's about to bite your head off. Nice. Trist, this thing is stuck to you. This one looks like it wants to bite your head off. Yep. Alright, well... Unfortunately, in my current predicament... I think the best thing to do is going to be just to try and Nova it to death. 
Yeah. Because yeah, probably would be the, the odds of me succeeding on getting away are not phenomenal. Hmm. Yeah, that's a fair point. So let's see. I'm gonna tick off. Uh, this thing's probably resistant to acid. So let's make this a. Let's put on a poison paper. Mm-hmm. Fix poison. Oh, we've been blessed. Is that what the blue thing is? Yes, we are blessed. Mm -hmm. I was working on getting my Wi-Fi back up for a moment. All right. Okay. Oot. Yep, I handled it. And yeah, let's uh, let's let's dance. So, blade assault. Ugh, blade assault. That one hit. Right. Ah, good. My Discord's uh, up on the uh, computer. All right, I'm gonna jump out of the call and I'll be right back when I'm on my laptop. Sure. Okay. All right. Uh, hold on. Oh, do you want to try your escape check? Sorry. Uh, that's an action, is the thing. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is action search and try okay. again. All right. Try and fucking destroy this thing. All right. Uh, da -da. Deep gambles. I like it. Yeah. Uh, it's probably not good gambles because it does a 15 hit. No. Okay. Well, I made two hits and it has uh, has to make some saves versus poison. So that might might help. Mm -hmm. You nearly did kill it. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, if I'd if I could roll less shit, should have been easy. But instead, I rolled uh, a four and a uh, yeah. Oh, oh, uh oh. Good. Good luck. Yep. All right. Well, this is gonna suck. I don't think a 17 hits you. Nope. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you're lucky. I mean, you didn't yeah. have to do that D100 roll. If I hit you, I was taking a limb off of you. Well, these are vocal mimics. I mean, if you crit me. Yeah, if you're... No. If you're, if, uh, uh, or you are adhesed, which you are. Ah. Oh. Well, no, it says if you're adhesed, you roll a d100. And, and oh, no, I, I like... see. Or the uh, creature is adhesed. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah but... Either I, either I crit, or I just hit yeah. you while you're stuck I mean, to it. The, well, the no, good news is... Lose a limb if you're adhesed, it says roll a d100 for losing the thing. That's, that's to pick which limb you lose. Oh, that's to pick which limb, okay. <laughs> Alright, I thought it was like a... Like you're, okay, okay, yeah, I see, I see. Confusingly I written, you know. but I get you. Uh, yes. Yeah, no. Luckily, not uh, not not super threatening not with hit. my high AC and shield available. Mm. Yeah, I have. I at least have shield Sorry. available too. Went past Bob. I should have. I should have used it against that. The first attack. What's the two D eight for? Fire, which is a concentration. Oh, yes, it didn't uh, move, so it just takes 11 damage. Yeah, okay, sure. All right. It has dropped to zero. What? Does it let go? I mean, it's it's made of glue. <laughs> it doesn't it, it's not doesn't choose whether or not to let go. It is it is zero hit well, points, and Trist is stuck to it. When, okay, when it goes to zero, when I see it just Get the whole. Yeah, it's it sags. It. Sure. Yeah. Uh, Bonner. Kill it. Kill well, it. Oh, you're still in danger. Yeah, it's, no, it's, it's not dead. I knocked it out. Just get his hand free. I could pull Tristan free. Yeah. But I think Do I'm that. the only one who's noticed it. So Just kill it. Just kill uh, it. No, I'm literally telling. Uh, say, Gosh. Shut Continue, please. Ariel, like, Ariel's next. Then Hallie and Tiana, and then Tristan. 
I think you guys have this handle. Probably. So Vonner is going to pick up on the thing that he thinks only she's noticed. And she will reckless. Uh, and turn around and swing the spear uh, behind her into the space behind her. Very nice. Show me an attack. I will make two attacks. Uh oh. You did Some say reckless. Reckless, yeah. That's true. That's true. Which and you also probably do can't have stop a... the disadvantage from attacking an invisible person. Well, that is stop. true. All right, so the spear actually still goes flying. Um, you can make the the second attack with something else if you'd like. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, actions aren't discreet in 5e, and that's nice. All right. You fling you fling the spear and you you swear it like just about comes across something. And so you pull out the sensor and overhead swing and bonk. Someone comes in, into being. Ah! <laughs> ah! Uh, let's see here. Uh, I only made you think I didn't notice you. Uh, let's see. Uh... Does she, is she going to be enough? Yes, just about. Sensors Beep. effect again. The 24? Oh, it's 24. That's not is enough. That then. Never mind. She doesn't cheer. Blast. All right. The sensor hits her. That's you an interesting name. Silence on that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I shall tick on NPC name in rolls to show. Yes, correct. She was, in fact, the one blasting you guys with reflex test. By the way, Bonner, Ariel, <laughs> reflex test. Okay. Um, mm. Oh, no, not Guess again. Guess this is like a cousin or aunt or something. Uh, let's see, dexterity or wisdom. Let's do wisdom. Oh, <laughs> I. Ow. I mean, this, this seems like it would be unaffected by, it, but what? Sense of purity can cast silence if she, if Fonra wants to. Oh, that's a good point. Um, it does do that, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't think it this. Does, I don't does think silence the... The, the individual. Oh, since you can see her, danger sense would apply now. She was invisible before, so she wasn't a trap, and she was invisible, so you had no idea. But now you can see her, danger sense applies, and you can avoid it. Ah, okay. So I do duck, just duck out of the way. Yep. And then it hits all of Ariel. Meep. Meep. Yeah. Uh, if you'd like to give perception tests, she looks relatively similar, I suppose. Yes. yes There's a family like line renowned test. for its prettiness. And also I found actually not too far off of a facial structure from uh, Aero's mom. Maybe a 14 would be enough for me to recognize my own family. Maybe. Hmm. Not quite, although you do recognize that she recognizes you, or at least recognizes a facet about you. Her hand is glued to your, her eyes are glued to your sword. Tristan's hand is glued mm. to a mimic. Yes. It is. My hand is glued to a mimic. It is. I got too cocky. Ariel, your guy. Who are you? Your name, please. I'm the instructor. Hurry up, continue. Mm. Students. Well, I'll deal with you here in a minute, then. I'll use my bonus action and move my hex on over to the one that's buying Tiana and has still got at least a decent amount of HP. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to do... Don't... <laughs> 
It's by oh, don't do the that. US. It hasn't actually fighting me. It's Tiana. stuck to me. Oh, it hasn't, yeah, it hasn't actually it done any okay. fighting against Tiana at this point in time. Can All right. Well, then thing? instead of yeah, instead of moving my hex over there, then I'll move my hex over to here. Then, uh, so this thing's down on the ground. I get a negative for hitting it with range attacks, right? Yes, but also or you could just pull, pull Tristy off. There's no, yeah. there's no contest. You're just glued there. Just grab oh, and leave. It, just, well, he just, he like just pull like... him off. No, this thing is unco- yeah. Sorry, I'll pull it. It is out cold. It is at zero health and starting to die. You'll have to make death saves. Yeah, you can hurry yeah. those along. Well, I mean, I feel like that's probably the better option. I'm sure, it doesn't get back up and yeah, just like on a natural twenty and like go after. Yeah, I'll step yeah. in slash slash. So. Slash. Slash. Hip. Hip. Dead. All right. Uh, Step back this way. So that's 10. Uh, 20. Five. I'll be right here next to the instructor. It looks similar. Can't place my finger on it quite yet, though. All right. Less chatting, more doing the test, please. I don't play favorites. All right, this mimic. Uh, it will make one last uh, disadvantaged attack against you. Fifteen. I'm gonna shield that. <laughs> yep. Uh, Hallie. Uh, am I bonking her? It's just part. It's just part of the test too. Just to help. You just flirt with the instructor. Uh, help! Uh, help who? Bon- Tiana's having a good time. Tristan already got pulled out of his thing. Yeah, we're no, good. Didn't. Yeah, yeah did. just fine. Okay, well, whatever. Yeah. All right. Then. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, well, since I'm not going to bonk the instructor, because those that we were fighting are now. Hello. Are we supposed to go further in? You're supposed to try and pass the test. Yeah, I don't know about that. Well, what's the fucking test? Is it beating your ass? No, it's getting to the end and then getting out. Although you can get bonus points if you bring down an instructor. Not that anyone has. Well, <laughs> got one down and, already today. Let's do it. And then yeah, I cast being one. And then Hallie cast banishment. I mean, All right. Do so, it. uh. Tana, you're done, right? You're you're doing your thing. You no, don't want to help. I'm still doing my thing. Yeah. Okay. Good. Cool. Uh, sure. We're bonking the instructor then. Yep. God, banish me, loser. <laughs> <laughs> All I like, like the cut of this woman's jib. Uh, that's true. Mance's concentration. No, that will not happen. See, you didn't use the javelin, Hallie, so... <laughs> it's true. Clearly, but, you know. Right, one last persuade. If you do it, you can put yep, this dude I'm out gonna, of the fight. I'm gonna throw inspiration at this one. Alright, yeah, with 24. 29. You're not in combat. Me. So you're right. in combat, even. Fair, okay, yeah, fair. Yeah, yep. just like you don't have disadvantage because you're in combat. True, um, true, yep. So yeah, so with the 24, uh, it will like gingerly unstick its pseudopodus servers from you uh, and await food. Yeah, I'll give it I'll give it 10 gold this time. Alright, let's see here. Uh, Purple Mimic, Int... Okay, that's just about enough to recognize you as a source of food, but not a source of food. <laughs> you are not food, you are a provider yeah. of food. They, yes, exactly. 
Yeah. Because it, 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 if it, if with a nine, it can figure out what most animals can figure out. And that's if someone is handing you food at no effort, then you probably shouldn't finish eating them, at least until they run out of food. Yeah, now it's getting paths. Sure. Uh, it hardens the surface that you're patting, so you don't just pat once and it just get really stuck. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was expecting. Excellent. Good baby. Good baby. <laughs> All right, Trist. You just watched Tiana like fucking mimic whisperer that thing. Three, four. Nice. Good job. All right, time to beat the shit out of you too. Uh, I don't feel like I need to runic might here. I'm just gonna blab her a couple times. Oh, that's, that's some good rolls. Shit! Ain't shit Where those during the mimic part? Uh, you can't shield that. Uh, what else can you do there? Uh, I can have Mayrock come and punch her in the dick. I was more thinking in her case. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Uh... Okay, you are not aspirants. This is bullshit. No, we're really not. Uh, Correct. We're, we're a knightly cohort. The fuck are knights I... doing? Turn uh... around to face Mirog. Well, Don't listen. You have things to aspire to. Yeah, we do. We're but we, we're need to get we do, but we have to talk to Hassan in charge, and to do that, we have to go through this. The assassins have gone missing, but we need to talk to them. This feels like against the spirit of the test. Uh, it does. If you provide not to be an actor threat, then we'll just continue the test. It... She said to defeat the instructor, so Mara, go. Yeah, you get extra points. Bonus points. Sir. Ow, bitch. <laughs> Right in the back of the head. Listen, we beat the last instructor by giving her snout rubs and head pats. Uh, you want to surrender now? You fucking what? I beat the last instructor <sighs> by giving her belly rubs and petting her snout and calling her a good girl. Some bullshit. Do you want to head She back? goes, she becomes ethereal and walks through you guys. Um, what does this spell do? Yeah. Oh, hey! Breen! <laughs> oh! Ow! Um... Oh, it's a... It's a... Well, See, I don't really want to get hit by the radio save. damage. But it's a con save, so that's nice. That's pretty Ow. nice. Uh, 17. What's the DC? 17. Oh, good. I need it. So that's 20 damage instead of 40. Mm hmm. That's really good. Ow. God, this spell is actually awesome. Concentration up to a minute. You just keep doing beams. Oh. That's pretty cool. That needs to stop. I love it. This light is sunlight. To, it's it's a cool spell. It oh, is. These, like, fucking, she now has like fucking fancy anime sparkles like flowing off of her hands. It li literally goes behind motes of glorious sunlight. Wow, that seems really familiar. <laughs> seems the uh, astral line loves to do that. Just have a bunch of sparkles and everything. Like, she, sparkles. Can't, she can't blast us with it again, but she does shed light like sunlight. So, no, you can create a new line of radiance as your action on any turn oh. until the spell ends. Oh, shit. Oh, that's horrible. Stellar. Yeah, that's yeah. What, so this spell is awesome. <laughs> yeah, it is. Also, ow. And shit. then at the end of her turn, she ceases being ethereal. Hmm? Oh, hmm. Okay. Headpad offer rescinded. That was unnecessary. You're still standing. That's not great. It, it's no. a very um, impressive move, really. You got two seconds to rub the shit out of my eyes. I'm gonna come over there and kick your ass. Oh, you try, tan boy. I'm not beating an emo up yet, but I will. Why do you gotta bring my skin color into this? You fucking racist. 
I'm going to pull out my cool shades. <laughs> Don't you know I'm from the past, we're all racist. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not the boomer wizard. Oh, no. no. Uh... Caps. It's literally because she couldn't find some insulting term for you to mark that you are different from her. <laughs> so she's just like, yes, because what's my skin color? You fucking racist. Spending all that time in the sun like a loser. <laughs> Bob, yeah, probably had to work. Probably had to work the farms. You farmer, you peasant. <laughs> just holding up her hand to. Lighter ass. What the fuck is that? Re. Yes. Do you have like a fucking bird bot in the background? It's carny noises. Oh, that's also, me. Angel, please uh, that's probably that's probably the. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't realize that was coming through. I thought the jacks going down were not going through with it. No, it. Please mute. Yeah, it's Thank coming. Yeah. yeah, it just goes up to Trista. I just fucking. You know that look of like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Kind of look at her and just hold up a hand and just heal Christian a bit here. Showing off my fucking goddamn tattoo. Here, here you go. Yeah, she's meant to be impressed. She isn't. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, have fun with that. Hey, Farah. Yes, I know. Well, I was hoping to see what you would do, uh, but I didn't expect you to do that. So, wait. I'll point my the sensor at her and this wave it back and forth to ring a bell and shield and I will use it at ability as a bonus action to cast silence on her for three rounds now does that end a concentration check though I don't think I don't know no it does no. not would have prevented her from casting in the first place I didn't know she was actually going to just start like. No, I, I would not have expected that. No, either. no one knew she was just going to drop okay. a six level education thing on this. I, I would not have silenced her in the first place either, to be perfectly fair. Now go beat her ass. <laughs> she likes still speaking, but can't hear herself. And with the with with the hand that's not like sparkling and incandescent, she's like rubbing her ear. Please do not uh, lethally beat the instructor as well, please. Yeah, no, don't don't kill this one. She shakes her head and then makes a makes a come at me bro motion at Fauna. I'm going to right. reckless. Nope. Oh. Bless. I, the fucking bless wouldn't have changed anything with that first attack. Twenty six. Uh, the second one probably hits. Twenty six will hit. Uh, let's see. Fifteen, sixteen, eighteen damage. All right. She is ethereal, so she suddenly becomes non-solid as your weapon passes through her, but she's still sitting in front of you and going, Oh, but you can't hear her voice. She holds her head. Uh, concentration to keep her spell. She keeps it. Ariel. Okay. Okay, uh, I'll move up this way, move on up to right here next to Fonro. Uh, I think I'll just go ahead and end my hex, and I'll hold out my hands in a peace thing, uh, like a peace gesture, see if she won't just go ahead and surrender since we already basically beat her. She hasn't gotten to do much of the fun stuff, and she wrinkles up her nose. Can I make a persuasion at it? Considering we did just yeah, drop go for, her go for, from go for, way go for far persuasion. Back. 27. Okay. Nice. Fine. She sighs soundlessly and 
Well, it's the spell end. Oh, good. No, I didn't and then we just stand there quiet without any any sound for the next 20 seconds. Just quietly sizzling. The silence yeah. is deafening. Yeah. <laughs> she sighs and just sort of waits, tapping her foot gently until eventually sound returns. All right, fine, you won. I don't know what you're all doing here, aspiring when you're all powerful knights with your own lives, but we're here for an arm of As light. I said, as I said, we're here to get and retrieve something from the leader of the Sassans. Oh, well, yeah, I suppose. What, you couldn't have sent him a letter? He's shut through himself the king? away. No one's seen He's anybody come no. out of this place in centuries. Your order's been gone. Oh, well, that's... Whatever caused that? That's uh, rather disappointing. Uh, I guess it has been a I while. Hit, I hit on Dracul and keep sending them until they didn't have any left. Why would we perform a hit on the... Oh, I had heard he did something. Yeah, He's he a turned double into vampire a... betrayed now. the king. Oh, no. Betrayed the king, turned into a dragon vampire. What, and we used up all of our people fighting him? Yes. That is the assumption we're running with so far. Oh, that's frustrating. Do uh, you want a Ted Pat or a tummy rub? What? No. Which structure did you even do that to? Shark. The shark late. The shark woman. Uh, blood favor. Yes. Blood favor. Yes. I always took her as the brute. Well, yeah, she, well, she was. was a brute until this until this one here decided to turn the tables on her. Oh, she said she was going to make us into betas, so I made her into my beta. Yes, she, she is an spirit. He is an spirit. Oh, I thought that was just a funny joke. How is this going to start laughing her head off? Uh, and yeah. you, she'll spirit. point at point at Ariel and then jab her in the chest with a with a finger. What did you do yes. to Shadow Killer? Shadow Killer. What do you mean it's, Shadow Killer? It's my sword, and you broke it. No, this sword here is Caliban, the Martyr's Heartbreak. No, it is not. Its name is Shadow Killer. When my mother passed it down to me, she had called it Caliban. That's dumb. Yeah, I wasn't going to say it, but... Hmm. Well, 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 which one of you broke it, the... then? That's very frustrating. I do not know. It's been within the Astriel line for a decent long time, at least. Mm. Oh, goodness me, you might be related. Or, oh, well, I'm assuming the surname hasn't just sort of brought off to be handed around randomly. I'm Ias, Ias Astriel. And I am Ariel. Lovely Astriel. Right. Well, pleasure of meeting you. Great granddaughter, perhaps? Can I make a history check, see if I've ever heard of a, uh, let's see, what was it? Ias? Yeah, go for on it. On the uh, thing log? Uh, I'm going to use my inspiration to have advantage on this. Good for I could probably assist you. I have history trained. Yeah. Okay. All right then. Uh, why don't I assist you then, since I'm rolling a zero? And sure, sure. I have biggie history. Yeah. It's a twenty-nine. Uh, yeah. Is Astrael is the sister of Lady Agriala Astrael. <clears throat> oh, the one on whom her knights are. Oh. Descendant. Oh, great, sorry great, about great, your great. sister. Oh, my uh, assuming great great aunt then. Oh, hmm. I wasn't aware that she had children. I know I have. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm a descendant. My mother is a spitting image of her. Hmm. Well, that's nice, I suppose. It's a shame I would like to have known that my children made it, but why perhaps not. 
Yeah, would that at least immense history roll for me? Can I know anything about that? No, her family name is very much like really quite lost in places, although it being descendant from a line of assassins would probably tell you a big reason why. I mean, fair. Just as a shrug. Sorry, not really in the history books. Probably because the uh, assassin thing. Mm, yes, I did train a few of them. Okay. And then, of course, you know, stopped training them. Yeah. Mm, I'm more interested in you calling Calvin Shadow Killer, as far as I knew, it was uh, Lady Agriella's sword. No, it was my sword. Long, long, long ago when I called it Shadow Killer. And she will make a gesture, and much similar to your own blade, a hilt will form into her hand, made of much the same metal and showing the exact same swirls, and She'll turn it over into her hand, and a like sweet little beam of radiance, lightsaber style, will settle out of the blade. Nice. Huh. Uh, remind me, Sky. Was it the king that said it was like Agriella's like sword or whatever? Uh, yeah. I'll frown then. Why did the king call it her sword then? No, maybe because he was obsessed. Also, you know, the king's a liar. Him? No, he's never been anything but honest, I'd thought. No, oh, no. I guess I thought. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. This you know, is... he's a dragon. Very concerning. Uh, I didn't, but that, I guess, explains some stuff as much as any other explanation makes sense. What's this as well? Why, why are children of our line growing up paladin? Pokes you in the chest again. What's this? Uh, What's heavy yeah. armor and... <laughs> well, I mean, I am a knight and paladins are one of the most common knights and the more exalted ones and they're the ones that are on all the storybooks and all that. Sorry, I embarrassed the family by being a glorious paladin knight. Oh, yeah. As you guys can probably guess from that, as I just said, they're the ones in the storybooks. Ariel kind of become a paladin because of a... She wanted to be a storybook knight. Yep. Nonsense. We were never supposed to... No. Well, I suppose you're doing quite well for yourself, even with a broken sword and a whole bunch of tin suit. I am working to... Fix the blade, at least. Oh. Yes, I'm sure there's some way to do that. I wouldn't know. Tell her how it got broken. Okay. At least that's impressive. I mean, yes, you know, it was broken in a bit of, well, destroying a piece of darkness and just snapped off. Hmm. Not by myself, by one of the earlier wielders. Hmm. And then the blade was reforged onto it. Interesting. I wouldn't have thought that Shadow Killer could be snapped, but... Yeah. I suppose some kind of shadow-centric beast might be solid enough to qualify for breaking it, but that's a terrible shame if so. Yes. And... Because they would have taken one of my children's lives. Yes. Though... Luckily, I do have some of a way of fixing it once I can find the original scabbard and the like. Oh, you lost the scabbard? Technically, a... I didn't lose it. Well, this whatever. Is... Yes. Some descendant of mine lost it, or of my sister's. Which is a shame. Yes. That was a gift from my husband. One of a kind, mm. forged with metals from a rock from the sky. Yes. I hope to find clues on it soon to get it and turn it to the blade. Right. Meanwhile, once I do have it, I will be doing as my uh, warlock patron has suggested and breaking the blade once more upon a piece of it. 
Oh no, it's not enough that you're a paladin, you're a warlock as well. Whatever happened to the Magus? The what? Magus. Oh, that's so sad. What's a Magus? I'm quite happy as a warlock I am of being mm. in the Mass of Light. It was a wizard profession. Lots of history is these people existed and now they don't exist anymore. It sucks. History is stupid. Why don't we all exist? Well, unfortunately, people have a tendency not to write shit down very much anymore. When they do, right. it's hidden away in libraries and not disseminated. Also, I guess the Magus was carried down by family. Uh, also, you know, big bad double vampire killing everybody. Right, That's not yeah. an excuse. It's not a great excuse, but no, Magus traditionally was a, a practice within our line. Which, yes, I suppose it ended rather abruptly then. That's a shame. Well, Ariel, time to become a paladin warlock assassin, I guess. I think oh, that no, the... you're already far too. You've already quite ruined it. I'm afraid. You're yeah, a patron, so... goodness me. It's quite a good patron. It's the mass of light. Um... Tahano wanders off and gets eaten. Yeah, uh, yeah, Tiana, you can feed it ten more, and it will just sit there and munch quietly. It's not very much more better of a patron than I could be. One, two. See, no, that, that's exactly what that is, Tristan. Not enough people go like, oh, I'm going to die suddenly one day while I'm adventuring. I should write down all of the lore I'm acquiring. People keep going like, oh, I've learned all this lore. And then, oops, died. Died in a war. Died to a monster. <laughs> Didn't write any of that shit down. Yep. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> not enough of these, not, not enough people who become incredibly powerful actually, you know, retire. Instead, they get killed. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Next time we're in town, I'm going to get some blank books. Write your but memoirs. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, Celia is doing well. My mother is the Lord of the Hair Knights, and I'm training to be the next one. Is that why you've all got bunny ears? I thought it was just some pervert thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's just rude. Yes, that's why we have bunny ears. I'm allowed to be rude. It regards my sister, and she was an idiot. She was a great big bimbo. <laughs> Hooray! She spreads her hands helplessly. Certainly a, certainly a different description than what I'm used to regarding her. Well, if you're looking for the truth of matters, look to family. It seems that everyone back in the day adventuring around was just a bimbo or an idiot or a himbo. Yeah, that checks out. Yes, you said you were actually an inspiris. I'm sure you're all too aware of your family lines continuing on. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh... <laughs> I've uh, had a, a rude introduction to my uh, to to Lady Morgan's adventures. For years and years, Christy told me he didn't have any family, and then we've been tripping all over his family. It turns out he just had no family in the Dragonhold. Yeah, I, I, uh, apparently I just need to leave the house once in a while. I'll be damned. So then again, I suppose that there are far more Inspirus that don't know they're Inspirus either. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and a male in the line, I'm sure you're going to wreak similar havoc. <laughs> uh, I, I'm trying not to uh, be irresponsible. Right. <laughs> she doesn't look like she believes you want fucking there. Chris isn't sure <laughs> he believe believes himself either. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying, though. Yeah, all right. She can. T she tells that you've got good intentions. That you just might have fallen into being a man slap. Listen, he's trying really hard, and he's uh, look. No, being I'm, I'm not trying by his centaur. It's fine. I'm not trying not to be a man slap. I'm trying not to leave a line of bastards lying around. Mm. Well, you didn't immediately try and you know bed me, so I appreciate that. I suppose, or do I not appreciate it? Am I supposed to be insulted? I might be insulted. Uh, do, do you want I me to? Uh, Please don't. Please no. You are very beautiful. Oh, thank you. Lean up against the wall, give her a wink. No, 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 no. I will put my sword between you. No, See, that's limits. why I didn't, but... Right, this is yeah, off so limits. I'm not letting this happen. Okay. 
<laughs> no, I suppose that's for the best. Oh, fuck my grandma. <laughs> it's only your like great great aunt. It's fine. Or no. great great grandma. <laughs> it's one of the two. I don't know yet because uh, it's the son of one of them. At she least. has no fucking idea either. Exactly. Don't fuck my ancestor. Uh, this is the last. I was seeing the son of Lady I Grandma. Maybe it's the other one now. Sorry. My world's been turned upside down. I guess it's <laughs> true. Maybe the lady Gabrielle didn't it, have any kids. Meanwhile, in the background, Bob's just turned into little Tristan again, and just waving. And then the carnival music begins again. Well, I'll tell you what, if you go ahead and finish this test, I'm sure I've got some kind of reward for you. Right. the uh... speciality of the Magus, if you ever find a way to look into it again. You look like you've got at least a few brains between you to rub together. It is okay. the use of wand and sword at the same time. Ooh. And converting, you know, magical blasties into raw power. Okay, uh, my question... Perhaps I yes. shall look it up then, since it appears to be a family thing. My question never got answered. Well, well during this time, could I have uh, slapped uh, some prayer of healing? Oh, totally. Yeah, if you'd like to have chilled out there and done a prairie healing, go for it. Since, you know, I'm not sure we're going to take a rest because we're not done with this part yet. Yeah, yeah no, she probably, she goes, done. if you do try and stop and take a rest, I do have to go back to being invisible and blasting you with knives, so don't do that. Yeah, yeah alright. So uh, that's for everybody. Nice. Uh, but yes, uh, she will show off. Uh, if you would like to try and do an arcana or an int to watch oh. what she's doing and memorize it. A Magus conversion. She burns a spell slot, adding its caster level to... Uh, uh, its spell level, I'm supposed to say, sorry. As a bonus to attack and damage for one minute. Yeah. Uh, I will... Far. I guess I'll try an arcana this. <laughs> they get less casts per day, but they learn like a wizard. Uh, so, for instance, she is a level 11 spellcaster, but she only has one level 6 slot, one level 5 slot, two level 4s, like it's, it's scaled down. So a wizard would get, you know, more 4s and 5s and 3s, etc. Well, that's unfortunate. I didn't learn it. This is supposed to be a family thing. Oh. Yeah. Well, it was, it was meant to be lost history, but as I say, like, you could certainly try and reinvent it. And yeah, she will she will show off a Magus conversion and will reveal that her offhand weapon is a wand. And randomly rolled, much to my incredible amusement, her Magus wand is the wand of wonder. <laughs> yes. Of course. <laughs> Maybe used as part of a Magus attack action. She has extra attack, but it can only be a wand. Can so. I get you to oh, oh, after finish the task, can I get you to more describe this in detail? I'm quite curious about it. Sure. Right. It's Tristan holding up a sword and it's fucking wild of wonders as well. Yes. <laughs> Tristan's just standing there with the one wand he has, which is a wand of wonder and a fucking magic sword. He's like, yes. Oh, cute. Teach me. Yes. The trick is, of course, unfortunately, don't swing the weapon too often. It's why we tend to split our attacks with a wand offhand instead of try and swing twice. Otherwise, our conversion ends. Interesting. So yeah, they're like a spell singer, but instead of spell singing, they get a magus conversion, and instead of the extra attack feature, they get a wand attack feature. So it's main hand, then wand. Otherwise, if they could, you know, magus convert and then just do extra attacks, I could see them immediately going, and fighter, action surge, la 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> then paladin smite 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 yeah it, uh, uh. So yeah I was like it needs to definitely be a stopper on this to be functional but to me this seemed like a decent cause of function slightly less numbers of spell per day but really good spell fight there you go here's what she does and at the very least Trist 
me puts it all to memory. Neat. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, well, I've kept you long enough. Good luck with the rest of the test. Uh, right. right. Did, uh, of did the mimic drop anything here? Uh, yeah, it looked. Right. You were quite occupied. Now that we're done with that. Quite occupied learning about my great great aunt or possibly great grandmother or something. It's amazing how much healing one can pump into a bunny, and they take none. Yep. I'm just gonna Ariel, add... you gained uh, 30 health. Okay. I'll, I'll add that on in a minute. Oh, no, no, it's 28. That too is the first job from thingy. Never mind. So it's 28 even. Uh, yeah, so yeah I, did, I did 28 health and 2 damage. <laughs> no. Just a little sting in the ass. Eh. Listen, I was busy occupied with this whole thing up here for a bit, to know about the healing. Okay. okay. I just want to write her uh, name down so I had on my sheet somewhere. What's the uh, uh, what's in the box? All right. In the box you can see a blue powder. Nice. Uh, this appears to have been, like, for your convenience, stored inside a, like, little tin drinking cup. All right, I'll pick that up. Put it in with the pots. Oh, uh, do you mix it into the pot with red, or...? Not yet. Okay. Gonna... We, we have that all separated out. Makes sense. All right, yeah, you've got another door. This other mimic will like look askance at you as it's chewing on gold coins, and it will burp. Uh, Tiana, dexterity. Or pets, pets. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I'm here. All right, you catch as a tin of dust is burped up at you. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Good baby. I'll toss some minute. work uh, Electrum this, his way this time. Nice. Let's go with 15. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, it gives you the... <laughs> All right. And we'll, yeah, happily eat Electrum. Daji, let's get this next open. You get the latch, I'll get All the right. rest. All right. Each hand. In the Arcana test? Yep. But actually, you've already succeeded it before now, and she's probably not going to blast you to yeah, throw you uh, off your game after you've already kicked the shit out of her. <laughs> I... I take out an Electrum coin and throw it at this chest. Let's bring the mimic for no, I mean the mimic saucer. Yeah. So if I can lift this up and plant it further up against the wall there as well. Yeah, you can see that there is another chest. I flicked an electrum coin at it. Did anything happen? Oh, uh, it lands on the chest and then slowly sinks into it. Daji. You hear chewing noises. Yeah. Time to, uh, time yeah. to mimic whisper some more. Hey. So mark off that coin. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Yay! Hooray! Yay. Yep, okay, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw a persuasion at it. <laughs> just coax it out. Come on, baby. 
Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like, Who's your cool little puppy? And then it does the like lid slowly opens and the tongue rolls out and starts snoring. Oh. Ariel, please. Amzal. Amzal. Mute what? Mute yourself, what? please. Mute. I didn't realize. I didn't. I didn't hear anything in the background. Sorry. Yeah. We're gonna hit the background then, and also laptop. Laptop. All right. So. See, I'm gonna just. I think I'm just gonna place some more electrum out for this. Just like in the space in front of it. Just bribe the mimics for their contents. Oh yeah, it's the best way to deal with a mimic. You know what? I'm enjoying watching this. So I'm giving you like fifteen electrum to feed the mimic here. <laughs> yeah, I'm you, just, sure you can you can even time it so that you can flip a couple of coins so you can try and get them to land in a row up one tongue, and then it um, folds them all back up again. Yeah. <laughs> so So yeah, that happened. Yes. Yeah. Uh you're both oh yeah, pet fucking pets in water. Yeah. Now I actually um, have a good mic. Yay! All right, yeah. you are able to retrieve once more to like littered tin cups of green dust. Awesome. All right, and one more gate. There we go. Yep. Yeah. This was the Tiana section. <laughs> it was. It really was. Mimics there hasn't, there hasn't been one yet, so I don't feel bad. <laughs> you know. And then, yeah, the gate. <sighs> Aside from the instructor, Tiana could have almost soloed this. Yeah, I, I give you pretty good odds on fighting her. Yeah, you give you reasonable odds. She, she's terrifying yeah. because she's a level 11 caster, but she's got like 80 hit points. Uh, 82. And an AC of 18. Yeah, pretty pretty manageable. That's better yep. than mine. Yeah. Then again, she's also the one who had... Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. I was wondering yeah. why you had that prepared. Yeah, it was just sat on the ISS uh, list. Fair enough. She, she'd never use it on an aspirant because that's fucked, but, you know. It was always there as an option. Hmm. Another one. All right. At the end of a long corridor is a purple orb. Were there purple orbs back in the main room? I don't think so. Purple. Nope. No, Red, there are no purple orbs. Wow. Mm. Right. Arrow, why don't you go ahead and take point on this one? Sure. Sure. All right. Need something to, to the start of this. Get, to get my mind off everything else. There you go. Uh, yeah. uh, I'll just keep That's approaching the orb and just tell me if I need to stop at any time. Hey, do check the traps. Nope. I sure did, but Scout never told me to stop, so. I haven't told you to stop at all. Oh, roll to check the traps. Why well, didn't check for traps in the hallway? I'll check for traps up here near the orb. Alright, I'll come up and help, or rather, do it. No, no, I'll do it. Don't worry. Right. Okay, go for it. Yeah. Yeah, separate rolls by the sound of it? No, yeah. okay. There's no traps, it's good. Oh. Yeah, you're fine. Exactly. So what's up with the orb? Do they just look exactly like the other ones we've seen, other than being purple, or what the... There appears to be something inside of this purple orb. Like an object. Do there happen to be, like, holes for pilot, for uh, filing in dust? No. Um, hmm. 
<laughs> is there anything outstanding about, like, uh, standing out of Bow the Orb other than the object inside of it? Um, no, the orb just appears to be sat on a simple plinth. It appears to be made of the right. same metallic purple substance, although it is somewhat see-through, and you can see it there is an object inside, perhaps a pouch. Wait, I have a quick right. question. Is it about? Is this orb about the same size as the other orbs? Um, maybe slightly larger, but it's also hollow. I just look at how much dust will we need to make a purple plant? Well, I'm presumably because a mixture of three, about, yes. Yeah, because I, this is, I just swipe and put another one in the same place. You know, reflex and speed and whatever crap. Yes. So we need to make an orb. Yeah. So step away from the orb. Okay. Just pack we don't have a molder. We don't have like a molder or anything muscle. for it though. Because uh, the orb we touched turned to dust. Yeah, and if you can maybe make the right colors together to form an orb. Who knows? I don't know. So we had what? We had red, blue, and green orbs is what the three colors were? Red, blue, green orbs, and there was all t the red orbs you picked up turned to dust, and you also received blue and green dust from the mimic chests. You received blue and green dust. Uh, so we need to go back and get the other orbs and get the uh, all together, I suppose. Wait, no. Do those three colors make purple? Only two of them make purple, red and blue. Red and blue. Oh, Scow, I just spoil it. We could have been sitting here for hours. Yeah, we could have been. Yeah. I, I was about to say, I, I do know what. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I had to. <laughs> no, I. When I was little, there was this uh, show that I watched over and over and over, and the song is still stuck in my head to which primary colors make what. Red, yellow, and blue all together make brown, by the way. Baby shit brown. All right, then let's go get the blue ones in and see if we can't make a purple orb. Do you need us to actually go all the way back to go get them, or we could just say we go and get them? Hmm. You're going to go and try and get the blue and green orbs? I think we just need the blue ones, since we have three red. And it's mm -hmm. only blue and red that makes purple. Mm-hmm. You've also so already looked like, through blue powders. Yeah. That's true. That's true. So we only need one blue orb, then since we already got three red orbs. You should still probably double up on picking up the blues just in just in case. You know, just in case only lifting one of them is a trap. That's true, I suppose. All right, back to the foyer. Hey, Mirog. Right. <laughs> Mirog, presumably up Nazi. <sighs> I also sigh and follow along. Watch. Sorry, Vermes, I didn't mean to bump into you. Hey, it's okay. I know there's a lot of Halley. It is. They sure do grow them a lot thicker than they used to. <laughs> I actually don't know how long Hoose Reach, is, Hoose Reach has been there. Has it been there since your days? Mm, Hoose Reach doesn't ring a bell, unfortunately. Just pull, pull out a map and just tap. Oh, uh, I believe that was just farmland. A lot oh. of the area was just farmland. 
I it's all minotaurs farmland. now. It's centaurs. But it is, yes, still farmland. Oh. Just lots and lots of minotaurs. Well, the forest is really dangerous, you know? And so other people got scared away, but then minotaurs and a couple of centaurs moved in. And the, the bad people, the bad things from the forest tried to attack and then got stomped by a 12-foot-tall minotaur and all his brothers and his sisters. And that's how it's been going on for the last couple hundred years. So, uh, are those elves just bound spirits, too? Uh, she's gonna glance over at you and then tap her nose before resuming smoking. All right, all right, I'll ask. I'll take that as a yes. Do not annoy the sleeping people. It is nap time. They don't need blankies, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, no. It's not in my interest or fairness to go telling you anything about anything. Okay. I guess I don't ask check, after. So, is it a harder check to get this or blue arm back here since it's like next to two sleeping people? Yep. Okay. Uh, if someone's willing to try and get this one over here next to the sleeping people, I will be willing to shift up and do an acrobatics to get this one back here without disturbing them. Sure, Tiana, you're up. Uh, can I? Mm -hmm. the, uh. Wasn't it assistance with uh, perception? I'm sorry. When we began this, I was still asleep. Did perception help at this? No, oh, I don't remember. Uh, perception is a way to get past yes instead. Dex always. Acrobatics or perception. All right. Mm hmm You want me to just go ahead and roll? Uh Oh, they're both equal, but one is trained. <laughs> uh let's go with perception, I guess. Ooh. Didn't you have advantage from me helping? Yeah, to cancel out her natural, not in combat disadvantage. Ah, uh, well, well, it's only a fourteen. You both fucked it. Oh boy, you both fucked it. Oh, uh, great! You're literally all here. I just go. Ugh. I am supposed to blast you all while you're fighting them. She says as they start waking up. So I'm just going to give you one and then stop because I can't be bothered. You can just hear their <laughs> thoughts of. The bun knight is going, I'm trying so hard. Why can't my ancestor be proud of me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's, she's just going to pick this line, I think. Uh, Ow! Mid-conversation. Yeah, right. great. Okay. Yeah. He's like, I'm just going to do the one, and then I'm not joining in. Obviously, it's not going to be great for me otherwise. Uh, and yeah, she'll she'll pick that line of three and give you guys a quick. Uh, That's a concept, would I be right? in the line, or would I be down here since I did the jump to and oh, did the disturbing uh, of it? Let's see. You would be here. You would oh, be here. It's a wisdom saving throw. Uh, yeah. For a second, I thought that twenty it was me. I was excited. Uh, hey, wise. It's the deck save. Oh no, it is a wisdom saving throw. Hey, I can't, I can't roll I read, the I read, for I anything read. today. Do I take half or just 11? None. I mean, five. If you save, you take none. Okay. Okay. God damn it. You're going to have to. Don't knock me. the orbs over while you fight. Trying hard. Sorry, Scout. It was, I was, okay. I was, I was, I was trying, trying, moved in trying to do roll. everything at once. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, -oh. uh Let's see here. Greg, you. Yeah. Uh, do you... uh, all right, everybody on? I think so. Honor to Stereo, Tayana, Bob Halley. Yep. Boop. It's weird not having like the wall of companions. I don't have to like <laughs> fill everybody out. But all right. Oh, hey, the major gets to go first. Uh oh. Come on, that's never gone badly for anyone ever. Uh, 
It's been a good day up until now for me. Uh, Just go ahead, bash me, do it. Ow. Oh. So that's probably what, like over here? I will. Just... Why would she nuke the instructor? Because she gets to nuke everyone else that's around it. That and the instructor, instead of since it's you know been an out of combat. Uh, whenever she's in danger, it's just a quick. So she oh, just okay. does. Yeah, she's like she doesn't have to be afraid of being dropped to zero as long as a you know some time has passed between that. Uh, I'm just going to yoink this chest and use it as a center for this radius. Mimic saying, why have you betrayed us? Uh, this one's I just, it, uh, this is the evil twin box oh, lad. So that does get me as well. Yep. Alright. It's okay, it's radius. Yeah. 20. Sphere. I believe it says sphere. Just a radius, yeah. Yes, 20 for radius sphere. So everyone. Now mind you, you don't make your saves until the start of your turn. Okay. Oh yeah, if a, cre a creature enters the area for the first time, but... Yeah, yep, so it's... potentially we could disrupt our concentration, Fonra. That's true, you could, you could actually... That is the way to handle this. We can't Fonra, see the you start effect, inside the, the cloud kill, though. Oh, oh, you can't see it. No. Uh, there you go. There you go. Fuck. Fuck. My eyes. I need a constant constitution saving throw. Mm hmm. Ah. Oh, so stonks to take. Only 11. Okay. Okay, who did that? Mage at the back. All right, I will just run right, right run up to her. Hey, uh, no. Hmm? I will, um, I'm going to wreck her. Oop. Bonk. Oh, right, Fonra's, oh, oh, uh, oh. right. I... Oh, such a good Divine Fury! Nice. Shit, a 39 to beat the con for? <sighs> that is a DC 19. Yeah. For a concentration check, that's actually pretty nasty. Yeah, that's nasty. stout. Haha! I have foiled <laughs> Thanks, your plan. Thank you. Also, ow. Uh, That's unnecessary. So, oops, shit. Let's see here. How much health these people have? Yeah. So, that was the first hit. Bonk. Uh, do you have a way? To not get hit by a 26. I don't think so. <laughs> Is that the go get him, tiger? <laughs> go get him, tiger. Uh, shield is not going to be enough. She's got mage armor. That's 15. Shield 20. No. Bonk, you knock her out. Nice. Ha. Waggle. Yeah, you're not supposed to, because they don't really show their damage. And indeed, as you drop this one to zero, they fall to the ground in a pile of, like, mist and smoke and begin discorporating. Oh. Allie. Miss. Less, on, less on the same. Raise a javelin threateningly next turn. Okay. Hey, Anna. Put my blue dot back on. Your blue ball. Alright. 
Well, I'm I'm right next to a bitch, so. I like Sounds these like ones. This this one's token is super pretty. Yes. It's huffy oh, and got yeah, very You can you can yeah. almost hear them going huff. Is it well lit? No. Sounds like a good time to activate Shadow Blade. Then yeah. I might as well. No, I'm not. Miss terribly. Like you might as well miss terribly. Yeah. All it's right. okay. Yeah. It's dimly lit. No one saw you. Uh... Step, step. That's a lot of poison. It is. Is that on, oh, is that on me? God. Yeah, give me a con save. Two con saves, in fact. Yeah. Three, even. Four? Four. Four. Oh, yeah, because yeah, you've also got to concentrate. Do two concentrates and then two. Wait, no, two damage tests first and then yeah, the concentrates after because you know your DCs. Yep. Yes. Okay. okay. Good. Okay. Wow, look at you go. Yeah. Constitute. No. All right, so constitute for 11. And they constitute for 8. <laughs> or 10, Which I is guess. 10. Yeah. So a 10 and a, 11 and a 10. Yep. Level 10. Oh, yes, that's a friend. Cat do yeah, not 10, 10. care. Yep. That was very impressive. So you took a total of 37 damage, which is incredibly painful for you, but you still have your spell. Can I lead forward on my hoofies to see a little bit more around this corner? Sure. I'll just I just want that. okay. I just want to see if there's an extra space stick to Bob. Yep. Bob. I'm still up. I would say uh, Bajicon or Bajicon? Uh, the one with temp HP. Everyone gets uh, 13. Could, points. Nice. could you modify the card in the future? Just like make that like five plus your actual tier level, like as a little box so we just see it constantly. Well, it already sets five plus five to it. Yeah, but I'm, I'm just saying, like, make an actual little box to uh, be like. So it has your level in it, so we know the number so we don't, like, looking yeah. at. Yeah. Like, so it doesn't Angel's like. Angel can't remember that we're all level eight. Well, no, because like I just I like it better. I don't have to do math. <laughs> I'm smooth brain, okay? Just look at VCT. I'm afraid we okay. need to use math. Okay. Uh, there we go. Modify that. Ask for your quest. Yes. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking savage. Antenna. Okay, thank you. Arido, you're up. All right, I'm just gonna slash this thing. I've already had enough failure for the day. No need to attempt anything else. All right, here we go. Probably gonna whack, whack. There you go. I'm done. Let's see. Uh, does that even hit them? Oh. Yes, it does. Double hits. Any smites? Amzal sounds so defeated. <laughs> oh. You go. You gonna smite? You gonna try and try and impress your uh, relation? I have one more smite for another short rest. So why not? Let's go ahead and just use that warlock slot. There's my smite button. There it is. And we need big boomies. Level two. Uh, it's not a crit. I don't suppose these count as undead or fiends, do they? Uh, no, they're spirits in the same way that the earth ones are. Yeah, I mean, it's always good to ask with their spirits if yep, they're undead. Yep. In nine. 
Yeah. You almost hopped her in one guy, so not bad. All right, next turn. Yep. You're going, it is a shame my sword is broken. Shadow Killer should be kicking so much more ass. All right, this rogue is going to move to probably about here. And Stapo Stapo at the aerial and crit and then crit fail. <laughs> so she hits you yeah. really hard and then the short sword just goes fucking flying out that of her hand. That is a terrifying amount of poison damage. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. God. You're kind of I'm glad the second I, one missed. That might have dropped you. Well, I mean, All this right. first one's can't a good save. chance of dropping if I don't get it. Uh -oh. All right, con save. Uh, you know, what? I'm gonna I'm gonna use Caliban's ability to just deal my proficiency damage to her as well while she still hits me. Sure. As a fuck you, in case I don't actually say. Uh -oh. So um, let's see. How much is this? This is how much is your proficiency? Sorry, three. It's uh, three. Three. Uh, minus three. All right, and then. Mm -hmm. 69! Nice! Nice! nice. Guess what? And you're still standing. I'm still up, just barely. Whoa. Fucking nice. But you realize because she rolled 69, we know exactly where you got stabbed. Ow. No, do not stab me. No, no. it's gonna be bandages. Oh. Why do you have to hurt me so much today? <laughs> Come on, it was nice. Yeah, the nah, if anything, it just it, it, yeah, it, no. If anything, she hits you, and then it just opens up your trousers. You just go, wait, what? <laughs> in the background, Flop. I think everyone in the party also goes, wait, what? <laughs> None of us have seen that before. <laughs> no, Fauna knows. I think someone's seen the someone else has seen the bull the bull go wild. And Trisha shit hasn't. So mm -hmm. allow me to. Yeah, you can fucking guess who have seen the boat. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously Bob knows about it. He could smell that ten miles away. Uh, what's your good spell? Could do another sphere attack. Could do insect plague. Ew. But instead, let's go with the old... Your wounds, but level five on this one over here. Uh, I think Tayana gets an oppie to do that uh, against them. Uh, uh okay. Oops, shit. That is an incredibly high level cure. Jesus Christ. It's a good roll. That's what it is. And 22. That is a hit. So she takes 10 for doing it. Again, also a drow token that I think is supremely cute. Yeah, Rick, nice thought. It's one of my oldest elf tokens. Yep, it's a good one. Yeah, guess, guess what tokens I had to change out, though, because they turned up in a fucking... Dungeon Italian as a bunch of invisible archers. <laughs> I was like, oh, I recognize those tokens and then fucking just hot swapped the lot. <laughs> Best you're up. I love how this happens. It just, I right. mean, it's also somewhat inevitable because we're sharing like token packs. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. So, bonus action brain cell. to give Mayrog a turn. Uh, she's going to come up here and cast Sanctuary on uh, Arrow's grandma. So she doesn't oh, get hurt uh, by accident. Thanks. And I guess I'm quite all right, but you know, go in there. Well, I gotta protect whammons. Eh, true. All right, and I'm gonna go up here and beat this priest up. Ah, uh, let's see. I guess I'll go ahead and use another. Yeah, these things are probably fucking immune to poison. I'm just runic might. Uh, whack. Whack. Wow, oh, that's unimpressive. There's an 18 on a cleric probably hits, though. Uh, on a cleric? Yeah, 18 will hit. She's All only right. wearing scale mail. 
Oh, uh, take take two off that damage. I had something incorrect. Actually, no, it's the same thing. Never mind. It's good. Mm, okay. All right, spirit mages out. Fauna. Uh, I don't. I don't want to kick over one of these orbs by accident. Yeah, if you'll notice the spells that they have as well, a lot of them are are built so that they can't damage these orbs. Mm. Couldn't fireball, so you know, gas cloud. Honor, come up here and take out this cleric before they uh keep party buffing. It's this one, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's the punk one. Wacky, wacky. Yeah, that's a whack. 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 Six plus two plus nine. Thirty-four. Still standing. But not by much. Hallie, hit me. Uh, no one else is really hurt other than Tana, right? Uh, oh, wait, no. Ariel's there we really go. Yeah, Ariel, is, Ariel got fucking uh, ravaged by a crap. Hang on. And... It took 69 on it. <laughs> Yeah. 69 cunt punts worth of damage. Alrighty. So, um, mass healing word. Do you include so. the instructor in that? No. Why would okay. I? Why not? She's not hostile. She's also healing them. That's and if we heal it... The instructor isn't. And if we heal... It, if I heal you up more, are you going to stab me in the butt? No, I already said I'd throw one shot in the back just to make sure that I've met requirements, but I'm leaving you to it otherwise. Okay, well, then she can partake in the healing, and then javelin. That is a hit. From downtown! Ooh, you forgot your extra light damage. Oops. God damn it. I think you can just click it. Can you? Huh. I think so. No. Oh, that's a shame. Bum, uh, you, bum. Don't click it, you don't click it like a weapon. You have to go over to where the other part is. Got it. Alright, do you hear her? There is a crackle of radiance and then... Stacks of the ground discorporating. Diana! There's still this girl next to me. Oh yeah, still full health. Did you yeah, take let's... your healing too? <laughs> oh, I got more healing, cool. Yep, 15. No, yeah. All right, thank you. Uh, okay, well, Shadow Blade, this girl next to me, I guess. Still miss. Oof. Well, there's that, I guess. Uh, that's not going to be a hit. All right. This adept. Mm -hmm. uh... Hmm. I'm assuming Bless won't get there either, right? Hit me, bitch. Hit you? Yeah. Hit me. Why would she do that? There are softer people all around her. And I'm telling her to. There's also well, a bunny Bob and Tayana. Damn. That was so bunny in I hate tanking in this game. Meh. Well, fine. She'll stab you with one of them. Thanks. Miss. All right. And then she flips <laughs> around and just because picked a really hard target to hit, it's going to flip around to stab Bob because he's really easy to hit. You made this happen. <laughs> Bob, con save. Uh, All right. You just take 15. Tristan just wanted to be included. I was about to type out the only way to tank and scound you to be wanting baby.
Well, I tried to grapple her to the fucking ground. Savage. Okay. They dance around you deftly. Right. It would have. Which is. No, I don't think the armor would that affect her. Ariel. Yeah, it would have been hilarious to have succeeded. Ow. That was not very nice. Uh, I'm gonna use my Hexblade's curse on them. Make us uh, crowd 19s now. It's not very pleasant. Now, oh, my turn. Hit, uh, hit. 20 and 15. And uh, I'm gonna use... I'm gonna double spy this because uh, I'm in danger if this thing can attack me again. So, let's see, my last second level paladin spell. No crit, no fiend. And then, Terrible, a nice first, and then a first level paladin spell. What the hell? <laughs> so much more in the first level. Yeah. At least I undid all the damage that she healed from, I guess. Mm -hmm. Did... 32, 38, I think, there. Yeah. All right. She's coming at you. Yeah. Nope. Miss. Hey. Uh, that would hit. But, uh, you know, I don't want to be attacked with all that poison. So, uh, fuck off. Shield. Well, she knows shield. Look. That's something. Look how I'm a mantis. I can do shield and combat. <laughs> so impressive. <laughs> Speaking of impressing the instructor, uh, can I attempt to uh, make a stance? Make a conversion. That's it. Alright, give me an arcana test at disadvantage. Sure. <gasps> yeah, sweet team. Okay. Um... So you don't hurt yourself, but you definitely get a nosebleed. <gasps> uh, let's see here, though. What spell slot level are you trying to use? Just first. Okay, then it's not too bad. Uh, it's only going to last for a round, but it is very close to a conversion, I suppose. Alright, hey, I'll take it. But yeah, you, you obviously aren't trained in it, so... Yeah. I'm not going to let you have a, a, it off a, a, a secret class one. feature. But yeah, it is a plus one. Alright, uh, so just pretend that's on here. Alrighty then. It's three. 39. And then plus two, 41. She'll squint. Uh, I mean, it's like baby's first conversion, but not too bad. Don't I... get a brain hemorrhage, though. It was a first conversion. Also, it was just a little baby hemorrhage. It's fine. <laughs> the prestige class. Yeah, I have to open that thing that has uh, the, the character sheet option for, like, mythic shit. <laughs> oh, no. Alrighty. Bonner. All right, I'm gonna try and take you, take her down. Oh my god, you are just kicking absolute ass. She's All doing right. she's doing good today. Yeah, like resoundingly, like I don't think you've missed, which is weird. Usually, you sort of like throw throw a few out there into the open air. She's still is she still awake? Uh, yeah, she's still kicking. Uh, 13. Oh, you've got a blast. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um... That's a hit. Ah, oh, two hit points. Don't worry. We have the most reliable javelin Hell in yeah. the company. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, healing word on Bunny. We're fine. Don't, don't waste the spell slot. Okay. But I already... You should say that before I'm done. I... I said it as quickly as I hurt if you guys haven't finished and gotten her rest yet, so and... 16 health for the Baron. 
Oh, 13 isn't a hit. Oh no. Why would you guys why would you guys cheek me like this? Alright, Tiana. Come on, hit something. Uh-huh. She got one hit with an oppie. No. I did get one hit with an oppie, but I have <laughs> yeah, it was definitely Saban's fault. I was complimenting Hallie on her skills. Yeah. There we go. Fucking hell. And what a roll. A green... <laughs> Eight, six, a green blade eight. Blade on that. You don't need to. She's done. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you fucking oh, sit okay, down. <laughs> Put a negative 25. <laughs> and then, yeah, she drops to the ground and Discord begins discorporating. Bob, you're out. Oh, that should, be is... eight. that should actually be eight last time to have the wrong dice put on there. Oh, well, it's fine. You still drop her. Yeah. <laughs> she had two health. Yeah. I just wanted to say that that was the wrong dice. Okay. I should get a. I should put a well, two the in there as well. Gone. Oh, I forgot to have Mayrog do a thing. Yeah, yeah. whatever. Yeah, the cleric is gone. So. I try again. Let's see if I can do anything with that. Bob, what are you doing? Get all I want. Stop trying to grope my underlings, weirdo. They're not even sexy. What are you talking about? Oh, that is just wrong. Just, just pointedly wrong. He's gay. It's, he, it's not his fault. Okay. Well, yes, I mean, I do get that, though, but then there's using your own sexuality as an excuse to insult another person's appearance. Tisk tisk. Mm -hmm. My underlings are stunning. They're very pretty. I don't know why Bob's growing mm -hmm. them, though. I really don't know. But she insinuated she was insulting me first. She's still up? Yep. Dang. It's my oh, that driver is close. All right. I mean, I'm running low on smites, but I can spare a first level. Might be enough. So maybe. Fine. First. First. No crit. No dead end. Ten more. Exactly enough. Bonk. Hooray! Discorporate. Good because I default. Good bad. because I'm down to one first level spell. Got dropped because I forgot to have Mayrog Puncher. <laughs> That would have been pretty bad. Oh no! To be fair, after after Bob's attack, she probably would have like spun around and tried to short sword Bob twice. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah. fair. That's fair. What short sword? What short sword? Yeah. She threw that away. No, she hasn't. Huh? That and she uh, just, she just has it. She has a, she has like literally a ton of these fucking things. Okay, just making sure because she knocked one, then you said she so yeah, it's flying away. Hallie, yeah, calm down. She just it's okay. It's out. over. Moo. Moo. Everyone okay? Other than Ariel? Yes, I'm fine. Uh, My dignity is out in the close, but it's fine. Yes, they are somewhat set up to haze people. Uh, not my no, honor, of course, really. but, you know. <laughs> she smacks. Congratulations, not dying. Uh, and and yes, you'll want to practice that. Uh, probably not in a combat situation yet. So you know you'll get an aneurysm and die. Yeah. No, that is a really neat trick. Well, terribly convenient. Yes, once you know what you're doing. Yes, I'm going to ask you to teach me that after we finish this test. Or at least show the basics of it or something. And remember the I'm basics sure of CQC. Can... Yeah, I'm sure I can write you up a little pamphlet. I don't know how it works right. with patron gifted magic, though, unfortunately. I don't know if there's a fundamental difference or not. I've always just been naturally inclined to wizardry, I suppose. I suppose I'll find out if uh, when, I try, when I try it out. I'm out artificer magic. Yeah, I suppose I mean, artificer magic is basically similar to wi it's basically wizard magic. Yeah. If anything, I guess it's made to be mutable. Anyway, let's grab these orbs. Uh, Ariel. Yeah. Want me to count down? Yes. 
Uh, you've, you've already sure. proven you know how to count down correctly. I won't make you yeah, you've, already, you've, already, you've already proven you yeah. aren't going to fall foot on three or three. Yeah. So just grab the blue orbs at the same time and let's move along. So now we have three or more doses of blue powder and three doses of red powder. So let's yep. mix three and three together. Mm hmm. Sure. So uh, you've got like a cooking pot so you can pour it into the larger container and as you combine them, yeah, it begins to form this relatively solid orb uh, until you realize you're mixing it all the way over here and you aren't judging it based on how oh, yeah. large oh. that orb was. Yeah, bring it over. Away. That's yeah. why I was bringing it over here. Yeah, yeah you, can, you can head around and see. And then, yeah, would you like to give me an intelligence test? Uh, sure. Uh... Could we make it like weirdly enough like a cooking test using intelligence or something? Uh well, you know, I would let you do an intelligence cooking, sure. How about intelligence alchemist? Uh either or. I'll let one of you do it with advantage. You're literally trying to I got I measure by by like converted weight. I got a full right. in that. Yeah, I'll, I'll help you out there. Sick. We'll use uh, some like cup measuring and everything like that. Alright. So twenty two. 22. All right. So you do, you literally do the Indiana Jones thing. You start like pouring in and measure, and then you look at the orb a little bit more, and then you take a little bit of the fucking powder back out again, and then you stir it all up. It's not in obviously, you know, burlap pouch form, but you get the image here. Uh, and as it begins to harden and crystallize, it forms a sphere of, and technically a bit smaller, but this one isn't hollow as you might expect so the weights should be as far as you're concerned the same oh now who are you gonna have do the indiana jones swapper sure all right who what, has the highest sleight of hand because that that's 100 uh, sleight of hand i have a three uh same Taji? all right so not tiana because she's disadvantaged oh i said everything. same that's true, yeah. Yeah, yeah have but, but than you're three. disadvantaged. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so let's guide Is Merog the... any good at it? I can't remember. Uh, Merog's actually... Jesus Christ, that background. Yeah, it's Sorry. horrible. Uh, no, Merog has no, a really good deck save, nice. but no skills. Right, oh, yeah, athletics, perception, religion. Fair. Yeah. Hey. Not trained in hey. it. Sorry. All right, so yeah. Let's... Sounds like it's me then. Okay, and you get oh, the ability. You get that, and you get that on that. All right, so slide of hand with advantage and then plus two then. Yep. Walk right, on up. So I... Do the thing. All right, I'll put my character token there. Slide of hand. Twenty-four. Excellent. All right, you hold it up. The music gets tense, you got an orb in one hand, and you're holding it over that one, and then... Crab Swap! The one you've just picked up crumbles away into dust and deposits what appears to be a leather pouch full of needles into your hand. The rest of the dust goes scattering into the wind, and all is perfectly still. Shall, Until the orb this... begins to sink once you're about five feet away. And a boulder starts uh, tumbling it. Yeah. What? Run. Do you want to do it? She's just going to go ethereal and slide go through in, the wall. Go in here. <laughs> the way is too small for the boulder. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to see the fucking boulder. I, I also hey, got the Oh my god, the boulder knows where we live. <laughs> it bounces, it keeps bouncing off the sides and rolling after you all. Clever right. Fauna just, oh, you know, got to the side. And also, please note the boulder's full name. I I cannot see it. God damn it! <laughs> yeah, I I did see that. I, yes. <laughs> da 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 da. I, I, that's what I expected that to be. Ah, yeah. Okay. That's. 
is, slams into the wall good. here and then just sort of tumbles into here and loses its momentum and rests up against a plinth. Oh no, all the elves. No, it just stops against a plinth. Um, well, I just didn't want to duck into one of the rooms with an active uh, mimic in it. And that would have been just kind of cruel. Yeah, you can, and when you look back, you can see these gates look like they've been completely torn out of their spaces, and now you realize why those these look like they've been replaced so many times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was just I, I love that part. I never get tired of that part. Oh, good job not dying. Congratulations, and enjoy your bonus points. I suppose I need to. Uh, uh, let's have a look here. Uh, I'll tell you what, while you go sit out, I'll send in the next class of aspirants, I suppose. I'll make your little pamphlet for them to take out for you. Oh, alright. Okay. I think it'll be a very long time before you might get another class of aspirants, though. No, I think she means, means arrest, the... yes. Yeah, there's the other party. There's a queue outside. Oh, there's the other party, right, 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 right. My bad. I didn't realize that. I, was, I thought like we only had to do it for us, and then we had it for all of them or whatever. And no telling them what they need to do. Of course. My lips are sealed. Party! Yes. Yes, they are. Hmm. So, what's in the bag? After that, after that fucking jab, surprise. What does this have to do with me? The needles in the bag are tattoo needles. Oh. Yeah. They're for... Like, they're, you know, they are, the they are quite, quite beautiful and perfectly sharp and made of solid silver. So it looks, as opposed to like a dipping needle, you can see there is like a hollow well in it. So how does this tattooing work? Will there actually be someone to do it? Or I imagine like there's supposed to be like some sort of design for it, isn't there? Someone will come out and do it. Nope. I hope there's someone in there that can, then we run on the assumption that most of the people here have been, well, dead and gone. Oh, I mean, if worse comes to worse, one of our adepts will appear. Mm, silver. Mm. All right, then. Yes, silver. Silver is particularly popular for its ability to kill monsters and penetrate resistant flesh. Very convenient for tattoos on people who may or may not end up being magic. That's an itch. It's very convenient for us, and it's also oh. not pleasant for us as well. Oh, that's right. It's a form of lycanthropy, isn't it? Yes. Or something close to, I suppose. Yes. Well, I mean, good luck with that. <laughs> I'm yeah, sure you, you, you two are going to specifically itch a whole bunch from these tattoos. But they will take, which is nice, instead of just be resisted. Yes. Yes. Once we come out of the room, I'm just gonna walk on past the party, sit against the wall, and just slump down there for a little bit. Aww. Oh, God. I'll just kind of give you a hug. You, yeah, you no, did all right. No, I'm not going to hug right now. Oh, okay. No. Well... Instead of a hug, I'm just gonna get out a blanket and just throw it over your goddamn crotch. There you go. <laughs> flop, flop, <laughs> flop, 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 flop. I'm but pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure at the very least, Tadji has mending. That's, I do. That's true. We can fix your pants. Yeah, what happened to it takes her pants? So many. Hmm, she got 69. So many things learned in there. So much disappointment to be had. Mending is just kind of a requirement for Tayana. I suppose now you know how how Tristan feels. What? Sort of. With family revelations. Ah, right. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Just will drop his voice down so I can't okay hear and say, "God damn, she was hot." I was watching. She's super cute. Really, my type. Oh. Hold on, let me make a That's perception so. check. I have big ears. I might be able to hear you. All right, you get away with it for now. You gotta, you, this is, you, Tammy gets away like without her ears being pinched. 
Yeah. Instead, Trish uh, just kind of gives her a little fist bump. Yeah, she 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 likes them like you know, tall, confident, strong. Understandable. All right, we're going to go on in. It's real harrowing. You'll never, oh you'll never expect it. I don't know how a group of rogues and wizards are going to ever cope in this challenge. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the party composition. I just looked over them. These guys are going to have such a fucking easy time. Yeah, this this is made they're for gonna, them. They're gonna have an easy and easier time saying we already did so much and they're the like we can reset them up resets. I mean, yeah, I mean, sure, but yeah, yeah. Like these the guys thing will just to magically watch. reset, but the thing is, they're all rogues, so it doesn't matter. Yep. The only one not roguey is Jen. Yeah, all of them are like dex fags or or, or int bros. Tiara is gonna sneak squeeze a hug because off of Fauna and Pout that she didn't get to join in with their run. Hmm. Let's see. Good little hover ups. Oh yeah, we get no. to watch them through the window. Yeah, you actually can watch their progress through the window. That said, I'm window? not. Uh, when you ask, uh, a little window just appears in front of your eyes, just oh. as long as you're facing towards the dungeon, you can see through it. Neat. And if cool. you concentrate on, like, lips or, like, voices, you can hear people speak. Oh, that's so weird. Yeah. Uh, Time to go if, back to watching if you speaking guys. speaking calm and I can just read them. This is true, you could also read them, but like you can actually hear them. Like it, The amount of effort it would take to focus on someone to read their lips is exactly the focus it takes to bring their voices into focus anyway. But yeah, alright, let's see how that group does. Uh, I'm just going to do it in test format because I can't be bothered. So. Uh, First, let's rub some nerd on this to figure out what they're doing, which will likely be Garrick and Cassie. Uh, who out of you two is the smoother one? Uh, they're the same. All right, they're smart enough to figure out the stuff, and now for the timing one. They have two leader types, so they probably aren't going to fuck it up, but just for the fun of it, we'll throw in uh... no, Okay, so they get into their fight early with the um, uh, assassins. Let's see here. Uh -oh. <laughs> they, uh... rumbled this. they rumbled this. Yeah, they, they, rumbled, they rumbled the assassins early. I'm not going to open up a ton of sheets. Let's just We'll, we'll use Cassie's as a, a judgment call for how everyone does. Uh, Dex with. Oh no! All right. Beefy. So they have a they they have a hard time when they get um, cloud killed, uh, but they do manage to take them down eventually. Uh, they don't have enough time to do a proper healing though. Uh, let's see here. Not that they have a healer. Uh, do they have a healer? No. No. Well, they got potions. Tiara so will take a quick healy potion. Uh, let's see here. How do they do on the doors? Garrick will mage hand them. That's good. He had mage hand. All right. Another mimics. Uh, all right. Garrick tries to scatter like a fistful of red powder over one of the boxes before approaching it, which has the habit of waking up, but it doesn't do what he might have expected it to do. But it does wake up the mimics, doesn't catch them by surprise. And I will do a roll for someone's escape. I mean, Garrick is the closest. Let's do a eh eh eighteen. All right, he breaks free, uh, and then the fight goes relatively all right. 
And then finally for oh, dun da dun da 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 dun da 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 da. It's got to be Jesse, of course. How could she not? As the yeah. the, the, the rogue's got to got to take point on archaeology and... boulder. Yeah, uh, I was gonna think like in a strange show of, of like uh, uh, freaking dominance. Jen just punches the boulder and breaks it. <laughs> Chris Redfields it. She Redfields it. <laughs> oh no, no need. It doesn't even trigger. A crit is the only thing that makes archaeology boulder not fall. Also, pointedly, they definitely get blasted a bunch of times by Ayas, but they never see her. They just spend the whole time assuming that it is some effect blasting them. They don't have a barbarian to be like, wait a second, that's not a trap. Yeah, yeah. So the entire time they're getting blasted, you guys through the window can see her clear as day. At which point, Tommy asks, yeah. like, was she invisible then, or...? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she was. Uh... She was that makes more and sense. We... And <laughs> we found out afterwards that she's either my great great grandmother or great aunt. Oh yeah, no, I had that part. I was I was listening in on that conversation. It was very yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah, it is. Are Spiris really that renowned for you know? Yes. Yes. Ah, uh... it's it's so much worse than you think. I mean, at the same time, so much better. I guess I got lots of family out there to find one day. Yeah, that's true. Lots, that's that's how I've chosen little, to look at it. Lots of little cheapers. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I gotta take oh, you can't to the village. Can't wait to meet them. Yeah, that's gonna be the coolest. It is. They're very nice. But yes, eventually, looking harrowed and smelling of cloud kill, the uh, rifle party will wander back out. So you guys enjoyed dealing with the proctor, my apparently great ancestor. No, oh, they're related to you. No, you kept getting blasted. Uh, that was an invisible lady. Uh, she was following you was around, weird. roasting your buns. I thought Ooh. something was weird about those. They were placed sometimes not up against a wall. Yeah, and also, you know, her auntie. Also, uh, free chunky milk and cookies. Ooh. Very, very disappointed in you, um, auntie or grandmother. Auntie or grandma. Weird. Yes. I'm not sure. Oh. Did we get her name? We are name, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Ayas. You'll have to ask Ayas. your you'll have to ask oh, yeah, your mother. Give you... Oh you is that what this is? Yeah, the pamphlets, you have pamphlets. Yeah, in there? Ti Tiara is holding up what appears to be like a, a thick parchment piece that's oh, been folded yeah. on itself. Yep, I'll take the that yep. That is what she said she'd give us afterwards, or after you guys were done. Yeah. Did you, uh, Wait, it make was inside the orb with the needles. Sorry, what Tristan say? I didn't hear him. Could it's you make a talking. copy of that when you get a chance? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Let's see here. It is an awesome secret technique. Yeah, if you would yeah. like to uh, write down that you have the what the primer of magus conversion it's like the magic ability. weapon spell but infinitely better yep because no one will ever use magic weapon but they will use a non-concentration version of magic weapon for sure all right so you called it the why do you why do I have a desk right there oops mm -hmm. primer of magus conversion i don't know why that clicked i was anywhere near it Let's see if this works. Just to just to test my macro. Yeah. Nice. Let's try that, but we're not leaving the field open. Yeah. There we go. Sweet. Now I have something to spend first little spell slots on. Because <laughs> I prepared nothing but utility today. Uh, 
I assume we need to, I'll probably need to do like actual study with the primer to really learn to do it right. There you go. Let's see. Burns a spell slot, adding spell level oh. as a bonus. Attack can be made once per turn with a conversion. Effect ends after your second attack. The true magist swaps its extra attack feature for activating a wand held in the offhand instead. So, um, is the magist like an actual class we can eventually be trained into if we learn more about it? I'm not sure. I'm undecided I mean, on whether it's a good idea or not. I mean, like you're putting it in here, like this type of thing, like the true magic. Yeah, because I've I I I spent the time considering it as well, but I'd also had to think up other qualifying rules for how many spells per level you actually have access to, or spells per day, and decided that it had to be less spells per day because otherwise the feature itself is already tremendously strong. I mean, we still have to learn more about it before we can probably even qualify for it. Yeah. Not that I'd ever even qualify for it, probably requires 13 ends. Just never made it out of enough. That doesn't surprise me. There was a bunch of stuff that never made it out. But I suspect as well it's because they didn't really put the legs in for figuring out how to balance it. Yeah, they, they made one prestige class just as a template and then never bothered to do anything else. I'll, I'll send it to you if you want. I'll uh, take a peep. I might, I, I might make how I might make that what happens past level ten instead of increasing anyone's proficiencies or or levels and stuff. They can go prestige. Oh God. Okay, that sounds interesting. I'm undecided. We'll find out then. It is a tough call. Like I, I, I have I'd spent the time like muddling on, on how a magus would function in this, and the cool parts of magus out of three point five, etc., was the idea that you had a buffed weapon and you could do wand. And I was like, if all if that's all I really need to carry over, I'm sure I can do the legwork. In my opinion, the cool thing about a magus or a dusk blade uh, was that you could put touch spells into your weapon. Because I remember I played a dusk blade way back when third edition was still in print. And that was fucking baller getting a like 5d6 uh, shocking hands spell on a bonk. It's That's sweet. true. That way, I, didn't I just remember that there was that there was that like wicked strange power that was like your weapon fucking opens up and you can slide a wand into it. Oh yeah. Say it again. If I remember there correctly, there was also there were beats. For the magus that allowed you to scale the, the what's it called the block, you know, that were limited to uh, like five d six or something like that. Mm -hmm. Go even higher with your, oh. your cast level. Oh God! Yeah, so you could literally have a ten d six drop grass, uh, meta magic modified, horrifying. Just. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. If if I if I do go the way of making some kind of Magus prestige, I'll put in an ability that lets you do touch spells with your weapon as well as having this feature. I'm not yeah. sure. I might say probably like up to probably like spell level three. I mean that's already got like yeah. what everything up to vampiric touch, which is I feel like the three that oh, you would yeah. use. A vampiric touch would be amazing, but even just like uh, shocking grass cantrip would at uh, that level be three d eight, yeah. which is pretty nice. Pretty darn nice. And then of course the effect ends if you double swing, so mm -hmm. works out quite nicely in that way. That oh, it, it it's almost got flavors of that old vital strike nonsense. Yeah, is interesting. But yeah. Okay. I'm gonna say like I, I I I have I've definitely spent time muddling over Magus because like I really liked the idea of yeah uh, a bursty sword mage. Don't get me wrong, like spell singer or blade singer or whatever the fuck is still my favorite, both thematically and yeah. gameplay wise. But I also quite liked the the beans and Magus brought to the table. Yeah, you give me reason to go back to doing one swing plus a brilliant plus blade your again. Plus random abilities, yeah. Beans, yes. 
Callie opens her picture and looks at the bean pads again. I, I was literally <laughs> typing that, but okay. Yep. Yeah. We we know your type. Yep. They're 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 my children. <laughs> they're, they're precious. The precious little bat cats. Look at the beans. It's true. The rival party will take a moment to enjoy looking at the beans and will nod and agree that they are precious. Tammy will insist that at some point you get the chance to hold your babasses. Yeah. I mean, we got to go back west soon anyways. Right. But, my lovely dears, I think it is time we jump to experience. Wow. Uh, uh... Okay. You did pretty well. You've got another piece. You have the tattoo needles and the ink. You just need the uh, some kind of plate or dish, apparently, out of the challenge of willpower. Yay, willpower. I'm sure that'll go well. Yes, good. My tattoo oh. friend is now. I will roll all ones. Willpower. It's just going to be one fast. Yes, good. That is how it goes. Yep. All right. Did you explore a new or interesting location for the first time? Yes. Explore the hustle. Yes. Did you discover a new and interesting truth about oh, the land? Oh, yeah. Ariel did. <laughs> uh, did you make a new ally or a lasting enemy? I don't think that We're counts. We're not allowed so to have spirits. Uh, unfortunately, these spirits cannot be counted. Uh, and that's actually because they have a feature on them that makes them useless outside of this area. One second. Is... Is Ayas actually a spirit, or... Because we shouldn't... I mean, I assume yeah. she is, because she went ethereal. Uh, yeah, one second. She'll hit that little button. There you go. This will be a fun combo with Mom. Hey, did you know we? Did you know about Ayas? Uh, which, which... Did we say from her? We said from Agriella. Yay! Oh boy. Yeah. And that as well as why I'm also discounting oh, them, so because there is, a, there is a potential way you could make them into allies. It's true, we just need uh, to bring them to Cassie. I, I, need to, I need to get her soul stone, I need to get her to become part of my allies. That way she can just constantly remind me, oh you're not doing as well as <laughs> kind of you could be. You are <laughs> constantly a constant uh, memory that you are dishonoring your ancestors. Why aren't you talking about how yet? things are all different? <laughs> all right, let's see here. So, uh, advance or complete a quest? Yes. Yes. Yes, yeah. you're officially advancing. Defeat a threat far beyond expectations? No, I think you no. guys did did <laughs> very well with the puzzles presented. And although there were some dangerous stabberoonies, you generally did quite well. And since you passed the test, no one was at risk of getting um, archaeology rocked. Did you learn Actually, something wait, new on. about I, a player character? Hold on, I, yeah, I, I do sure have did. I do have a thing there. for defeating a threat far beyond our expectations. We had to do math problems, and that is a <laughs> tremendous threat to my sanity, <laughs> and far beyond anything I would have expected in the dungeon. And not serious, but also fuck you. And learn something new, sure thing. Ariel Bimbo born. Yeah, <laughs> the bimbo bloodline. I mean, I'm either assassin born or bimbo born, and that I wanted That's to be a knight. Yeah, the the sure assassin hell. family or bimbo family. Also, you guys see me do mimic stuff for the first time. Yes, that's true. That's true as well. Parcel uh, talk makes think... more sense when you're talking to really? a literal parcel. I don't think any oath is really how So I I did waste a turn and a per day resource protecting the proctor with her one hit point, which I totally didn't need to do, but it felt like the right thing to do. That doesn't feel like it's hard tested though, and it doesn't yeah, seem like no, you'd be in any danger. There was there was there were no there were no stakes involved in you associating some resources to helping her out. I suppose. Yeah, you All didn't right. you weren't put in danger by using a sanctuary spell, like but I might be putting myself in danger later for not having the resource. <laughs> the thing. Maybe I'll Maybe, give it to but... you retroactively if that possibly even remotely comes up, but I doubt that right. the the sanctuary spell on your mini companion All right. is a particularly high stake. But yeah, 
I hope you guys enjoyed. So in total, yeah, that so was four. how many? Four. Four? Four. All right, and if you're watching on YouTube stream, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in like two and a half hours for Mers and Hammer, where we're going to go fight a big fucking brain, and D-Cell's going to give it some new wrinkles. Till then, adios.